Alright, welcome back. Welcome back, Variant Rolls. Um, where we are... What are we doing this week? We are, we're running through the city. We're, we're, we're not burning it down. We're yeah, very high energy. Sorry for yawning in the middle of you saying running through the city. We're very carefully respecting the laws of the city while Always. trying to obtain some sort of demonic stone that knows all. Wait, did he say demonic? No, he didn't. What? what? No, 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 no. Angelic, it. angelic. I mean... It, it's totally divine. Totally safe. Definitely. Wants to be your friend, you should definitely try to attune to it. Yep. Ooh, pick me, pick me. <laughs> <laughs> Last words. Okay. <laughs> Not ominous at all. Okay. <laughs> no foreshadowing there. All right. Um. So let's go ahead and do a quick recap. Uh, I know I had a lot of fun last week. Uh. <laughs> there were skeletons. There were oh, excuse me. Yep. There were there were wigs. Yes, there was a necromancer. Or Wig. fancy wigs for fancy people or dandy mops. Dandy mops. That was dandy, dandy, mops. dandy mops. I have a lot written down here and they're all puns and I couldn't remember which one was the real one. <laughs> <laughs> dandy I, mops. That's I've got to hear the list now. Nope. Mm -mm. Oh. They're not appropriate. <laughs> I was gonna say, well, I, I, I'm going to say this yeah. dice roll is rigged because I want to hear... Woodson's notes. <laughs> my no you don't want my notes to be the notes. Oh my gosh, I forgot what your notes look like. <laughs> there's, a, there's a limerick on here. It's oh, not... okay, okay. Maybe that's not, not appropriate. <laughs> no limerick ever ended good. Yes. Uh, what well, was a skeleton I do have the good the name on here. Never mind. Okay. I need to get my Let's roll for it, and uh, hopefully Kyle uh, Huffman doesn't get it. <laughs> <laughs> Kage, I'm sorry, you, you've got no camera. I got a natural rule one, which is good because I wasn't here. I also got a natural one. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> awesome. Does Alma have audio Starting this week? Up. Alma? Oh no. Are you there? Oh no. Alma, can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> I got a 13, by the way. All right. Six. Oh. Who could have guessed it would be with it would be uh, don't Kyle stop again? He was dead and out of. What, what what else do we got? We got a thirteen and a six. Two ones. Two ones. Why did it switch my mic? There oh. we go. Oh. Hey, yeah. there we go. And an Alna. We have an Alna. What'd you roll? I got a sixteen. Nailed it. Okay, it was nine. Who's closest? Six. That makes yeah. it six. Yeah, me. Uh. Woo. All right, so. Last session, we investigated a spooky windmill. Well, not that spooky. It was full of vagrants and people who were looking for shelter. You made it spooky. And love. And love. And love. Um, about that, may have barged down the door and knocked unconscious a couple lovers. Yeah, um, may have committed a hate crime. <laughs> a crime. <laughs> That's great. Assault on oh, a I citizen. Mean... I mean, I'm sure you can smooth that one over with the magistrate. I mean, like, we can't leave loose ends, people. They needed to die. They, but they, uh, to kill they but seem they pretty loose ends to me. But we heard where the stone was heading to next, which was the Dandy Mops, the store owned by Lasser Merklov, a necromancer. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, Lasser. Yeah, Losser, my bad. Not Loser, uh, Losser. Because these two lovers had delivered a bunch of bones for him, and they just kind of decided to add the Stone of Galore in with them. Well, sure. I mean, if it's a smash and grab and you see something extra to grab, I mean... Then you keep it for yourself. Anyway, oh, we went to go beat down Danny Mops and made a big ruckus out in front of the store with trying to punch down the front door, which didn't go very well. I mean, you made a big ruckus outside you, the box. You're the one who punched down the front door. It was you. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> it's it's my, notes, it's my notes say it was you. On the bright <laughs> side. Met the wizard cast unseen servant. On the bright side, nobody saw you commit your crime, right? And it's not like the guards would be on their way. And it's not like kids were screaming and... No, that's yeah. all those things actually happened. But when we went to go <laughs> run away down the street um, through uh, intense abilities of perception, uh, mm -hmm. Octavia was able to notice a secret door and we were able to go down underneath Dandy Mops uh, into the sewers after knocking over a bunch of wig powder 
and running in, we're eventually you, running you into. You did go through Danny Mo You did actually break and enter. Yes, this is true. <laughs> Barely. We left. We're about did to leave. Did you take any time. of the wig powder with you? Did no. Did you perhaps snatch no. their wigs? No. No, no they just but left it's... their footprints going through the middle oh. of the shop. No, we we sweeped it up. Oh, we yeah, sweeped we it up. Yeah, we used press digitation. Yeah. Uh huh. Press no, we took care of that. That's right. The only press thing we digitate. stole was the lock off the door. <laughs> <laughs> Um, went through the sewage for a while and narrowly avoided what looked to be like disintegration beams of death on a couple secret doors. Oh. As opposed to disintegration beams of life. Yes, yeah. as opposed. I like uh, the ones that came out of the other side. Went through, fought a bunch of skeletons with fancy ass hair, um, and beat them up, and eventually found a, another building where uh, it looked like uh, Losser had been recently. And we found the bones of Grinda's ancestors, which we didn't take. Figured we can deal with this later. Um, and then there was a scuffle going on and between Kenku and skeletons. And somebody was running away, we think, with the stone. So we started fighting them. And uh, I jumped past them and opened a door. Uh, and then there was a dragon. Yes. And we stole its gold. Yeah, uh, uh, obviously. And then we uh, murdered the These are your notes magistrate. from the other game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then uh, Lucien showed up, yeah. uh, and we uh, cast True Polymorph on her and made her into a ten just... tall tiefling instead of just. That's all we changed. We just made her taller. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, but, are you uh, writing all this down, Emma? Are you getting? I've got know. like so many notes right now. Okay, perfect. When we went past them, uh, we found Necromancer dying, wounded, uh, and saying that they went off that way through the door out onto the streets of Waterdeep. Uh, and Octavia Olna, wanna... just kept going. <laughs> yep, we Octavia just about... went. And I want to say Ulna stabilized, after we dispatched the Kenku and the skeletons, I want to say Ulna stabilized the Necromancer. Man, yeah, and the dying. yeah and he, we... he stabilized them and then just kept running. Yeah, And then we cut on the beginning of the chase. <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, guys! In sight of the Stone of Galore, which, have, has everybody seen the Stone of Galore at this point? Do you know what it looks nope. like? No. Uh... Nine. Uh, just the bread loaf description. I I have held it in my hand over at Wizards. It was oh, that's cool. Rather, oh, rather so cool. loaf sized with three eyes sitting atop it. I will see. If I oh, I yes, I remember now. Yes, I have. Right. Seen it. That's always a good, good visual. The thing good is, guy. in real life, I would be a lich if I could. So this is fine. <laughs> oh, oh, in real life, people, I'd be a freaking Kyle. like weak ass NPC. I would be <laughs> not even like pretending. A much beloved, but definitely gonna die NPC. That's pretty oh, yeah. much my yeah. That's my. I'm canon. Oh. I'm a red shirt. I'm a red shirt. That's what I am. <laughs> mm, yeah. What was you said, Nate? But being a lich makes you evil, Kyle. I just realized they don't have roll me... twenty up on the screen. Oh, it wouldn't make Eberron. me. They're not evil in Eberron. No, like. I don't know. They're I'm saying it wouldn't change me, me, is what I'm trying to say. I've oh, listened to, yeah. oh, Kyle. <laughs> I've listened to the Adventure Zone. So, looking at this stone, it looks reminiscent of something. Your face? Your... My father-in-law? That, that wasn't nice. Potion? <laughs> Wait, what was it? Your potion? I'm just saying there aren't that many creatures with three eyes. Oh, maybe like. Oh, wait, but... I think I know what it reminds me of. Oh. I'm not even looking at it to be honest. Oh. There's some there's some trolls with three. If yeah. only you were in roll twenty. If only. Guys, stop. If only there was a way. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, no, I know. Thank that. you. That's what it's called. Roll twenty. Okay. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I was like typing in like D twenty and twenty D and D and like being like, where is it? Found it. Oh man! Oh, I know why my camera's not working. Don't don't leave! Don't don't change don't, anything! Don't, don't don't do that! Don't do that! Don't do I that! Have to I have to update my computer. <laughs> yeah, Maybe not that. the time. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just be a shadow box. Oh yeah, we also fought a giant. Uh, I don't know if you can see that on the stream. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, did we talk about minute? the disintegration rays? Yeah, yeah. Did we about the rays? The three disintegration rays and the crystals. Yeah, yeah. 
the Briefly. genius of book to use mage hand to keep yeah, us all from the that's what it's for mage, mage hand's <laughs> a really good spell honestly i, mean, I don't yeah, I don't know what it's for. This I've never used it on a character, so when you use it for things like that, I'm like, oh, duh. It's called, there it's we go. At will, short range. Pushing buttons Jesus. from far away that you yeah. don't want to stand in front of. <laughs> now we it. have the Stone of Galore on screen. There we go. Yay. Woo. Nice. Good at computers. No. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah. yeah. What the heck? Why does that exist? Okay, yeah. <laughs> I don't understand. Great. Don't you want to cradle it and, and pet it? No! I would. <laughs> book would hug it and squeeze hug it and it. make it his very own. It totally it's does really not weird. look like a petrified eye slug. And call it yeah. George. Yeah. Okay. That's what we need. I don't think it would go by George. It, it doesn't matter what it wants. It's called George now. Oh, it, oh I can't wait. <laughs> This is my George, and George he shall be. Okay, um, so Akanku has run out of the uh, the uh, sewer entrance here, uh, well, out of the back alley entrance, and is making his way down the street away from Octavia. Octavia is currently in the lead. Uh, using the chase rules, to anybody not familiar with them, it's going to be very simple. Each turn we will roll... Uh, a d20 to determine anything that's going to get in our way, complication of any form, okay? So, on top of that, it can inhibit your movement, but it's not going to be rolling for yourself. You roll for the ne person next in the initiative order to Ooh. determine what happens to them. Perfect. Okay? So Roll well. You can use the environment to your advantage, which the pursuers are going to be at... The, uh, the uh, sort of the whim of the individuals fleeing. Got For instance, it. if you've ever seen somebody throw marbles on the ground behind them, you would then potentially have to suffer yeah. whatever they're going to impose upon you. Um, Can you remind me what the rule is for spell casting during a chase? I know there's yes, something about it. I'm going it. into right now. So. I would encourage you all to use a dash action as if you stop and you don't double move, you are going to potentially fall out of the chase, okay? If you get too far out of sight and you fail the, the stealth for perception check at the end of the turn, which is against your passive, then you will not have line of sight on them, you won't know where they went, you'll have to be following the rest of your party, okay? Now. You can, again, at your discretion, if you feel that you've got enough of a lead to capture them or something like that, use your action to do something to them. Same goes for them. If they were to use an action besides dash, they could potentially fall behind and get captured. Okay? If you are to capture the Stone of Galore from them, they might try to pursue you. And the game might change. Okay? So... It's a game of keep away. Yay! Hot potato! With obstacles. <laughs> we'll do it. Are we ready? Let's oh, yeah. It. Let's see. What, what am Can I, I forgetting? A, one quick question. I'm. Am I there? Have I rejoined? Uh, you are about to. Very soon. Okay. Okay. Now, there are some factors in there. Advantage and disadvantage on spot checks and hides and things like that. On dexterity checks. Uh, and they are going to be based around obstacles and, and crowdedness of the streets and things like that. So just to keep that in mind. And Octavia, you will want to keep in mind that whenever you are in the lead, the opponents have disadvantage on hide checks because you have... A, uh, superior passive. No, no, it's not superior passive. Part. You have survival as a trained skill. You, you have it um tracking that's cool yeah. yeah and in particular i have i have advantage in tracking them right now because 100 from exactly which effectively also makes it you can't have double disadvantage but if I'm... i love our squad okay okay Excellent. i just want to point out that open book was born for this yeah, you... literally <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen uh you ever seen world chase tag the sport Lucian was it's two players on an obstacle course playing tag. One, oh, one is the I've seen one that. Is the and they like yeah. free run. 
Like that's yeah. what he's gonna look like going after this guy. Like he's oh, like going through yeah. things and like, yeah. <sighs> guys, yep. I'm so excited. On my D and D bucket list. Be in like a, a chain. A cart's gonna roll in front of book and he's gonna slide underneath. My it cabbages. <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers, guys. <laughs> sorry, okay. it's just the I'm game. Sorry, is so I, I have to delete oh your um, doodles from the last one. <sighs> but the Get... giant is so good. Giant sorry, was was true art. True art lives forever in our hearts. Um, no, it's in, in my fact, heart. I can think of a, a dozen, you know, truly great paintings that the original have been destroyed. Yeah, yeah, but they live in your <laughs> heart forever. Why it's right in here. In I've never book seen it, somewhere. it's in here. Okay, so I'm just going to use this for uh, for us for reference, but for most part, we're going to be theater of the mind. I am only going to be tracking relative distance. Okay. Perfect. So here are your positions. I would like everybody to roll their initiative. Let's do it. Ooh, that's I'm going to use my Lucy N D20, which is Lucy N colored. Look at that. Isn't it great? Octavia, what nice. is your initiative? 22. Ooh. 20. So is mine. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Dexy Dexy. Alma. Five. Kolonov. Nine. Book. Twelve. Who's the end? 22. 22. Yeah. That dice did me, did me good. Very nice. Well, that actually is quite fitting because uh, you are going to be coming in on the uh, top of the second round. So I will just go ahead and sort. Perfect. And Lucien, we're going to put you into the beginning of the second round. Octavia, you are going to go first. Um, it is current. He is currently sixty feet away from you. Okay. Does this count as a combat? Because I get extra movement on the first turn of combat. We're no, going to kidding. say no. <clears throat> okay. We're going to handle it via combat <laughs> tracking. Uh, so there are a few other odds and ends, exceptions to how this is going to yeah. work. One. I mean, also like. We were just in initiative before, so it makes sense. I don't get it again. Understood. Um, and I, I, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't really matter. This isn't going to be combat. So, some interesting things in here. You can <laughs> dash only a number of times equal to your Constitution modifier. Every time you dash after that, you must make a Constitution save or take one level of exhaustion. Oof. Holy shit. I'm Mark telling you, Book was born for this. <laughs> if, if you reach level 5 exhaustion, your movement is reduced to zero. The exception on this exhaustion, it, well, you, of course, if with movement zero, will fall out of the chase. Um, but the exception on this exhaustion is that it will all be replenished on a short or long rest. Okay? okay. Rather than the standard recovery rules. I don't know if I can do this. And... <laughs> Attacks of opportunity it. for anyone involved in the chase do not exist. You cannot right. use opportunity attacks against one another in this. And this is another exception as to why it's not combat. It's a chase. A very right. separate mechanic with some similarities. All right. So, top of the round, Octavia, you set out right after this thing. And you have just, you've got its number. Uh, I'm going to dash. 60 feet and just leap through the air and land right next to it looking at it in the face yep give it a stone you are you are hot on this thing's this this Kanku's tail right out the door in the lead and it's not going to be able to do a whole lot other than flee okay book already oh, wait i'm sorry actually octavia you need to roll right yes uh eight Eight. I'm assuming just a straight number on the die. Yeah, is it yes. a d20? It is a d20. Okay. Yeah, I did a d20. Good. Where, where did my book go? I just didn't know Here if it was go. tens or like... I guessed. Percentage. Eight. Okay. Book, as you come out of the building... Outlook. 
for Sion. Oh, no, I'm not in the Sion yet. Oh, really? Right. Yeah, Next no, round. yeah, Lucien will be at the top of the second round. Oh. Book comes charging up out of the stairwell, and immediately a vagrant steps in your path and says, Bear some arms, sir. <laughs> He's coming out of an alley, and it's just he's he's wrapped in a blanket, and he looks so cold in the fog, and gets in your way. I need a DC 10 strength athletics check or acrobatics check, charisma intimidation check, your choice. Uh, intimidation, acrobatics, or athletics? Yes. Or, We're gonna go with what was that? Or you can toss a coin of your choice. How do you get past this beggar? Or I can toss a coin at him? Oh, yes. We toss him. <laughs> so we we'll toss him a silver. Get, be warm and well fed. Okay, so you toss this coin out, and, and he's got very, very slow reflexes. Maybe he's hungry, or maybe he's just very cold. And it, he doesn't catch it, but immediately like gets down on his hands and knees and gets out of your way, scrabbling after the coins as they hit the street. And you... Uh, you, of course, set out on your pursuit, and you, now it will be your action. Okay. How f can, first of all, how far away is my quarry? 60 feet currently. 60 we feet. We are doing initiative, but keep in mind you are all in the same movement pack effect. Right, right. No, I, get, I, I, I Yeah, I just want to – it's because there's a thing. I just want to make sure. So, first of all, not as a dash action – I have a feline agility feature. Um, it does not require. It specifically does not require an action, so I can double my speed for one turn, but I can't use it again until I move zero feet on a turn. Okay, so feline agility is this a combat ability? You can use that in combat. Yeah, it just doubles the speed. He's just stupid fast. Yeah, but I can and I can only do it once until I stop. Okay. Yeah, and he has to full stop. Okay. So yep. like it's, and it's your movement is thirty. Thirty. So you can double your movement and it doesn't take your action. Correct. Just once. Okay. So you can move theoretically sixty feet and still have your action. And then with my action, I would like to cast a spell. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would like to cast a second level spell. Can everybody see this coming? Going with it's it. a hold person. It's not hold person. <laughs> because... I don't have hold person. I haven't been able to prepare new spells. <laughs> no. So I have to go with what I have, which is Mind Spike. Mm. Ow. Okay. Ow, I know that one. Oh, yes, 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 yes. That's pretty good. Do you have to touch him to do that? I only have to be able to see them within oh. 60 feet. Okay. Okay. Yes. Cool. And I need my quarry... Carrying this, this is the person carrying. We believe to be carrying the stone, correct? It's oh, yeah. very clearly carrying the stone. Okay, to make a DC fourteen wisdom save. Come on, that will be a six. Okay, yes. so I don't care so much about this part, although it is an effect. They do take some psychic damage. Uh huh. They take oh. They oh. take 19 psychic damage. Oh, <laughs> good. Wow. That's wow. a hell of a migraine. That's a migraine. Yeah. yeah. A hell of a migraine. More importantly, for the next hour, without concentration, I always know my target's location as long as we're on the same plane of existence. Absolutely. It cannot become hidden from me, and it cannot gain benefit from being invisible against me. That's real strong. That's, that's yeah. what Mind Spike does. It's I mean, it's the point that. of the spell. Yeah. And yeah. by the way, I'm out of second level slots now, y'all. So uh, <laughs> I have two. Oh, it's okay. okay. <laughs> but I feel like that was time to use it. Yep. And trick over. <laughs> out of tricks in my bag. Yes, no. but that is why bag I was it's empty. going See? for this. And so now you wish me to roll a d20, I'm guessing? Yes. I'll do anything bad. That's a D12. That doesn't help. I do need to look up one thing about the Kenku. Make sure you're keeping track of your dash actions. Oh, not right. I haven't dashed yet. Yeah, not, not you, Book. Yeah, but everybody. <laughs> you only have enough equal to your constitution modifier before you have to start making checks. I only get Fortunately, I have a plus three to constitution. 
Yeah, <sighs> you'll be all right. I have plus same. Five. I got a plus. I got a plus four. We'll be okay. <laughs> Can run for days. Okay. Call him for days. <laughs> I just want to make sure you didn't kill him <laughs> in the streets, <laughs> in plain sight of everyone. Yeah, that'd be great. I mean, if it's a normal Kenku, probably. This is why I'm looking it up. <laughs> I, mean, I thought we were chasing the necromancer. Oh, no, yeah. No. Yep, that, that's murder. Okay. <laughs> um, they have 13 so what hit points. What's on Mind Spike? What's that? What the... Could you make it non-lethal, Mind Spike? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, the Kenku collapses as you are as you catch up to it and just sort of look at it angrily <laughs> and it it grabs his head as it it beak feels like it's splitting in half is ah! blood a little bit falls out of its eye and it collapses <gasps> forward the stone of galore goes flying off into the air oh and can suddenly, i try to catch it and it's flying still but suddenly it just sort of bounces and stops midair and is being carried by a gazer off into a side alley. What the fuck? Oh, fuck no. Man. I should have kept locate object. What the fuck? Do that dagger. There goes the mind spike. <laughs> Which is going to act next in the initiative order. Interesting. And goes flying away down an alley, zipping no. between obstacles underneath a cart and 60 feet down the alley. Good. Book, you rolled a... 18. An 18. Okay, that will be no obstacle. No, for cooling off. However, yeah. there is a cart in your way between... Uh, actually, you have to come up onto the street. Yes. You are currently 120 feet behind the stone, 60 feet down the street, 60 feet down an alley. Oh, yeah, and I didn't see where it went. I just see where my friends were. Like, so I'm just following them. Yes. So I will I will dash with my dash action, uh, and I will catch up with Book and them 60 feet. Okay, and you now have sight on the beholder. Or, no, sorry, not beholder. Not a beholder. Total, total, totally a spectator. <laughs> I mean, gazer? No, it's a spectator. Yeah. It's hard to tell from this distance. Unfortunately, I used my action surge in the last fight, so I can't Ooh. do it again. Yeah, that's sad. All right, that's me. Uh, but keep in mind, this isn't uh, a fight. Fair. Okay. I mean, you can action surge out of combat anyway. Yeah, no, and, and that's what I was saying, that if it's something you can only do once per combat, I forget action yeah. surge. Is it once per long it's rest? It's a, a short, short rest. I need it's a short, short rest. rest. Yeah. It's my only yeah. spell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my okay. one spell slot. Cullen is a warlock. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> next will be Alna. Alna will dash. Because he has, he has nothing right now. He's all out of spells. <gasps> oh my. Okay, okay. Oh, so, and your movement speed is the same, 30 feet? Yeah, it's 30 feet, yeah. Okay, so you managed to catch up and gain line of sight um, onto the... Um, I'm sorry, I, I've got to have... Uh, Kulinov, I've got to have you roll yeah, a 20. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should remember. Right. That is a four. A four. Yes. Okay, so yes. as you come up charging out of the um, out of the the sewers and you come charging around the corner you're making your way down the street a uh, a pile of barrels empty wine barrels outside of a tavern actually collapses in front of you and I am going to need a dexterity saving throw or intelligence uh, to get past them, over them, around them, however, this is going to happen. I need you to tell me what you're going to do if you succeed. From Ulna? Well, I got a 19. A 19 Ooh, will succeed. For intelligence. So you are able to outthink these barrels in your way. What do you do? <laughs> I just, I predict where they're going to fall. Sherlock Holmes it, I just, yep. Yeah, Sherlock Holmes it. I was thinking Pac-Man. <laughs> Pac-Man. <laughs> okay, yep. So you just sort of like look at the way they're falling and you're like, okay, if I run here and time it this way, it's not I'm not gonna actually deal with these barrels. 
<laughs> so you, you outthink the barrels and uh, you keep on charging down the street and you gain line of sight onto yeah. the uh, spectator. Awesome. I've used my only dash. Stupid barrels. <laughs> oh, yeah. You've got one dash. <laughs> you have I one oh, yeah. no. <laughs> so I've got one dash and no spell slots. Alda, I need you to roll a d20. One dash, no spell slots, so I'm forcibly removed from the chase. Fifteen, okay. Perfect, nothing happens. Which is good, because Lucien, as you come <gasps> strolling around the corner, you're like, I know these guys around here somewhere. Bam! A spectator slams right into you. I need a dexterity saving throw or be knocked prone. Wait, what? No! Please, Lucien dice. Yeah. Dex, dex, dex. Always. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Why would you not? 21. 21. Yeah. You managed to keep your feet, but you are stunned as this spectator slams right into your chest, and it's got the Stone of Galore, maybe Wait, 15 guys, feet behind it. Guys, it's got the Stone it. of Galore! <gasps> Being I know, it does! Grab it! <laughs> and now it will be your turn. You are at 10 feet movement from it, 10 feet distance from the spectator. Get it! Can I run up and <laughs> jump Grab on the it? Stone and float with it. It'll be great. Jump on it. <laughs> okay, you do have the movement to do so. It will be okay. a grapple check. That's a Ooh. that's athletics. Uh oh. oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm gonna roll it. You got a spell to switch places with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. It's a one. <laughs> oh, yep, uh, yep. You absolutely, you see it, <laughs> and you dive, one. and you realize midair that the stone is right there, and you reach out for it, and it moves over here while you're not looking, and you just face plant right into the cobblestones. Oh, no. Okay. Good job, Lucien. Well done. <laughs> okay. Can I use the rest? Just... Does that was that my action? That that is your move and your action. Yes. Great. Cool. Can I? Just you do stand have up? enough movement to get back to your feet, though. Great. <laughs> I have a nosebleed. I'm ready to go. I need a roll on a d20. Okay. 15. 15. Nothing happens. Okay. Excellent. Octavia. All right. You are um, 60 feet away from the spectator. And there's a cart in my way? The cart is actually, it was rolling by. Okay. So it's it's no longer in the way. Um, so it went kind of left down an alley. Is there any way I can, like, hop on a building with, like, an acrobatic check to try to head it off? Um, I would say that it's a full story up to get to the, the lowest rooftop near you. Um, I'm going to need an acrobatic check, and it, I will warn you it is a hard DC. I mean, I only have one dash left. It's worth a try. <laughs> Okay, um, that's an 18. An 18. No. Ugh. No. no. Hard DC by, by definition means it's going to be a 20. Somewhere in the 20 to 25 range. Okay, so, um, you do leap to a rooftop. You sort of grab the edge, but you lose quite a bit of momentum in the process. And you will have to use your full movement to either run on the ground or climb up onto the roof. I'll get up onto the roof. Uh, did I miss? Uh, did you move your hunter's mark? I'm about to do that. Okay, that's what I, I can get up onto the roof, it. and then bonus action, move hunter's mark to the spectator. Okay, so you are on the roof, but you are 60 feet away from the beholder or the okay. gazer. Uh, but Spectator. ideally, I, Hello, ideally, it's hard to tell from this distance. <laughs> and ideally, I have very good lines of sight. <laughs> you do have good line of sight down the alley. If it goes on ground level around one of the corners, though, you might lose line of sight on it. Yeah. Okay. Roll a d20. Yes, that part. Six. Sorry. Oh, I actually, um, there is line of sight. So it's going to roll its. No, it's not. Okay. It would have an opportunity to hide from characters without line of sight on it. Right, right, right. Which I believe I is basically it. no one. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you got a what? Six. 
Six. Six. Six. Six. Isn't that for the spectator, though? Hmm? Uh, no. No, no. No. The spectator is going to go... It's after right book, after... right? Yeah. Mm. I'm sure it went last time. Yes, thank you. You're right. Because book killed the last person. Okay. <laughs> book. I didn't think it would die. I just wanted to chase it. That's okay. Mind spike is only somatic components. Your papa berry will even look like a spell. <laughs> Did it look like a spell? Do I have to roll uh, to figure that out? In those great... <laughs> Don't worry. I'm sure nobody noticed the bloody corpse of a Kanku in the middle of the street. Oh, on on, on Trollstice, where there's a bunch of troll masks, troll children mask. running this around. This crime on Trollstice. I'm just going to troll mask The winter Trollstice. I can see the headlines tomorrow. <laughs> okay, book. Cat comes bad on the summer Trollstice. <laughs> what would you like to do? Um, did they get the d20 roll? Yes. Are you pursuing after the spectator? Yes. Okay, so as you go charging down the alley, a dog fight actually breaks out in front of you. Of course <laughs> it would be a dog. <laughs> Stupid mutts. Yeah. Oof. They, Oof. They actually, so they're, they're really tearing into one another, and there's, there's seven of them. Arg. They're, they are really getting into it. They're fighting over the, the remnants from the, uh, the, one of the local taverns, uh, Split pea soup. It's a big old ham bone. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say the kinky. Oh, was I'm gonna be like, oh, That's come on, terrible. Corey. come on, <laughs> pack of wild dogs. And fresh his eyes stare into your soul. Such a Corey classic. God. <laughs> Note to self: Don't play in Woodson's game. Be mentally <laughs> no. scarred forever. Yes. Woodson's game coming 2019. Don't you teach like D and D to kids? <laughs> Yep. Yeah, sure do. Do you have like a liability towards their therapy bill? No, no, I'm not, I don't get paid for that. Oh, pay me. Oh, okay. <laughs> They'll be okay. Yeah, will be fine. Besides, it's just a kanku, right? Just a It's a just bird a that now it's birds. Like dogs. Birds oh, and no, dogs, man. This is really messing with the uh, the feline here. Okay, yes. so I need a saving throw. What? It what is sort? Yeah, it is going to be a dexterity acrobatics. Wait, a saving throw or a dex acrobatics check? Sorry, it's going to be a dex acrobatics check. It's not a okay. saving throw. That's better. Oh, that's a 22. A 22. So you actually just sort of leap up in the air, cat style, and run across the backs of the dogs. They're snapping at you oh, and trying to, to get a little piece of your, your little kitty paws. And uh, they're they're just too slow. They're too slow. It's a good thing for them that I don't have to. Cats fireball. rule and dogs drool. <laughs> right. Wait, I have a dog, not a cat. Anyway, um, in this case, I guess for now it's. So I'm chasing after this thing. It was sixty feet ahead of me. Yeah. Yes. Okay, and it's like, how is it carrying this thing? So it's using telekinesis, actually. Okay. Mm -hmm. The it's levitating it with an eye ray. Okay, and ab about how far above the ground is it? Are we talking like thirty feet up in the air, or no? Kind it's of only a, maybe a... three or four feet off the ground, and it's got it. The uh, the levitation is about fifteen feet between, and it is it's probably fifteen twenty feet off the ground. Yes. Okay, I'm going to use my regular movement, not dash. And um, I don't know how well this is gonna work. Do it. I'm going to cast. Oh wait, yes. I'm gonna see what I can do. I've got just a little bit left. Um, I'm going to cast hideous laughter on it. <laughs> That's a great Pretty spell. good. I'll be back. So I, I, yeah, I hold my little purple egg and I and I hold it forth, and I say, "Do you know why gazers eat carrots? So they have 
good eyesight. Wait. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, it worked on Quinton. <laughs> I understand the hideous on this laugh here, man. <laughs> exactly. Book is not a funny guy. You so, laugh at it, but you feel bad about laughing because it wasn't that funny. Mm, That's the hideous part. Uh, uh, I need the gazer to make a DC 14 wisdom save. A gazer is actually. Or whatever a it is. Spectator, whatever that thing is. Yep, yep, yep. Let me just make sure I got my stats right here. Spectator, is that in the monster manual? I think it might actually be in a. I want to say Spectator is Bolos. Said that, I realized I had something that can help Yeah. That's Bolos. I wish the Spectator was a lot stronger. Which I'm not going to pretend that I remember. Because I look everything up online, not in the book. I know. Right? If, if you go to dndbeyond.com slash monsters. Yep, it's it going to take longer to do that than it is with the book in my hand. Or Roll20 Compendium. I, I have the spectator sheet open. <gasps> okay. Cheater. Because I just Googled it. It's got a wisdom of plus two. Cheater. Sounds about right. But I'll take it. He was looking for it, and I was able uh, to find it. Pretty no, quick. Sorry, sorry. That is actually a 12 on the die, so meets it, beats it. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Well, that, uh, was... that was my. And so I'm, I should still be 30 feet behind it. Because I didn't, I was. You are 60. thirty feet. You are fifteen feet from the um, from the stone, though. Oh, it's not oh. with it. It's fifteen feet behind it. Fifteen feet behind it. Yes. Oh, I don't think oh. I knew that. About twenty feet oh. off the ground. I, I, I just said it. <laughs> is the uh, okay. is the specter spectator gonna redirect that spell by any chance? Is it going to what? Redirect that spell. Don't, 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 don't give it an idea! <laughs> why would you say that? Just yeah. why? Because <laughs> it's allowed to! I thought to. you were a group it friend, friend. It on the saving throw! It's one of its abilities! Why? But yes, but you don't have to do that! Because I think it would be great! It'll be really funny! <laughs> I actually don't see it in Bolos. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, I, by the way, I got a 9 on my d20. Okay. You know, I went and I looked this thing up, and I don't remember what book I found it in, because I'm a terrible prep. I'll tell you, it can redirect the spell to a creature it can see within 30 feet, and if it has to make another attack roll, so no, no, I'm the only one including the spellcaster himself. Uh, just who's saying, not, who's not 30 oh, feet within? <laughs> but I mean, he is. That would be Lucien. <laughs> I guess it's in the uh, the basic. All right. Books. All right, because I didn't have the stat block, I'm going to roll an insight on me. I have, I have a nine intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> that's an 11, so eh, I didn't know it. That's funny. So is he not going to He's not gonna do it? You're I didn't have to roll. You're fine. You're nope, fine. nope. He, he did, he's like, that. wait, was that a spell? Should I have tried to deflect that? That was just a bad <laughs> joke. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even recognize it. I know the vibe. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, I know that oh, yeah. spell. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> Probably true. You know, maybe maybe it's concentrating on the levitation. It can't take its reaction. You know, I don't you know. know. It's a little bit stunned after running, literally bouncing its eye off Lucien's chest. <laughs> point. All right. Ryan, okay, long. moving um, on. Book, you rolled a nine. Correct. Uh, Corey, before the spectator moves, I realized that you probably didn't remember that I had the jump spell going for, on my turn. Yeah, you, you went up to the top of you the building. You jumped to the top of the stairs. How long does that last? That lasts a full minute. Oh, you're, you're right. Yeah. Um, so, which I realized you probably didn't realize. That's why I, I gave you an acrobatics check to see if you yeah. can jump to the first story. Because um, well, I can, like, jump 40 feet through the air. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, what do you? How do you want to handle that? Um, I you mean, you're it? on the roof, but yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, if okay. you in the moment, we're not gonna we're not gonna retcon it. Okay. Uh, I will say that I will just uh, give you advantage on a on a acrobatics check next time you use it when you don't have jump active, and we'll okay. call it <laughs> sure. Residual. We'll call jump it. Magic. We'll call it retcon inspiration. Nice. <laughs> That is also how I do things. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, so that makes perfect sense. book you rolled a nine. Next is going to be the gazer. I'm sorry, the spectator who goes flying up to the top of the building with it in with the stone of galore in tow and flies up and across the rooftops and down into the next alley. No. What a jerk. I... Kulinov. Yes. From you, I need, what, what, what is your action? What are you doing? So you are... I'm dashing after it. That would be my... You I'm are gonna, currently I'm run as fast as I out can. of line of sight. You saw it go up and over the building on the alley that you are in front of. Uh, did it go... Whichever building left or right it went, I'll just go the road and take a left or right, depending on okay. which way it went. So you're yeah. going to continue dashing? Yes. Okay, so you make it about 60 feet down the alley, or down Perfect. the street to the next block where you can see down the alley as it comes down into that alley. Mm -hmm. um, you see as it tries to sort of uh, start levitating a, uh, a sewer grate, it's looking at it and it looks up at the stone which it's kind of holding with its levitation eye ray and realizes it's not going to be able to go into the sewers. <laughs> Great. That's awkward. <laughs> However, Ooh. in your progress... Awkward. As you're staring at it, a guard. You there! Weren't you involved in that that Kanku being killed a moment ago? Hold still! I uh, point the spear in your face. That uh, wasn't me! Uh... <laughs> that was a little Good Mario. French. Sorry. It uh, wasn't me! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna need to run this past the witnesses. I think I dropped Kolonov's accent somewhere back in that alley. I'm going to go back and get it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm going to have to go back and get my accent. Yeah, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I just, uh, I throw up my hands and be like, oh, uh, so sorry. Uh, <laughs> I don't have any action or anything. I can't do anything. Yep. On your next turn, if you wish to continue moving, you will have to flee from the guard. Deal with the guard. Yep. Yeah. Oh, um... Sorry, flee. Yes, of course. Run. Yeah. <laughs> what? Alda oh, so, and Kolonov, now I need a roll from you. Yes. That is a natural 20. Natural oh! 20. Yes. Which mm -hmm. means no complications. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alda! Alda, you are Alda. Imp imp impediment free. Awesome. For 30 days. days. Free with nothing to do. <laughs> no. uh, so if I dash again. I have to make a constitution saving throw, or do I just take a yeah, level of... make a con saving throw. And then okay. if you fail it, you take a level, yeah. Okay, let me just make sure that it might be worth it. Yeah, yeah, why not? So I'm going to dash towards Kolonov. Okay, and I need your con roll. That's an 11. Uh, that, that beats it. You successfully dash. Oh. No levels of exhaustion. Sweet. You're more fit just... than you thought you were. Yeah. <laughs> Today, you got some that. good rest last night, <laughs> which feels like seven days ago. Yeah, uh, yeah. I feel like a no, month ago. Um, I wonder why. So, can can I see the spectator from where I am? So you go charging down the street, and you are now standing next to Kolonov, who has got a spear brandished in his face. But you do see the spectator, which for some reason the guard has not noticed. Yeah. yeah no, I point at the spectator. I'm like, that killed the Kenku. <laughs> Roll That's a like... deception. You're trying... Hey, look over there! While he's got <laughs> weapons brandished. Yeah, look behind you. I've never heard that one before. Oh, yeah, no, he definitely doesn't believe me. That's a bait. <laughs> it was <Yeah>. him! <laughs> so, by addressing the guard, you've now got the spear in your face. Excellent. Never talk to the cops, man. That's what happens. <laughs> If you're you know in the you passenger your seat, they come car, up on the man. passenger side of the car. Don't even look at them. <laughs> Ignore their flashlight. Otherwise, they have reason to talk to you. All right, roll me a d20. 12. 12. So no complications for Lucienne. Oh, yes. So you are on okay. your feet. You are uh, oh. at the end of the alley. You're sort of standing in a puddle. And Great. the stone is just gone over the top of the rooftop can I can I pursue it 
How Wait, would you like can to pursue I it? <laughs> try and climb up the side of the building? How realistic is that? It's it's about fifteen feet, and it'll be uh, you don't have a climb speed, so it's going to be no a difficult check. Cool. I'm not gonna do that because I've done bad so far. <sighs> Instead, I would like to run after the stone, the direction I think it went. You can see um, it floating above the building as you're chasing it around the side. Amazing. I'm following it. Okay. Um, and I'm going to cast... Oh, I'm going to cast a spell, if I can. Well, are you going... it's pick... 60 feet. Oof. Okay, then no. Caught I'll, up to it. Dash. I'll use my one dash to catch up to it. Okay, and you are currently in the lead. Noish. Um... I can't do anything else, can I? No, you come around the corner and you see it. It's cool. probably five, ten feet in front of you. <gasps> and it's got the the stone levitated above its head. Well, above its torso. It's a, it's, it's a spectator. It's yeah. a gruesome, okay. scaly, slimy eyeball. Lucien, you could inspire somebody as your bonus action. Can I see anyone to inspire? At the other end of the alley, you do see that you and Kulinov have got it cornered between you. Well, well, except that it can fly. Or the other guy. I go, I point over at Oh, yeah, or, or Book as well is on the other end. Um, I I'm, I'm think cool enough because he's got to deal with the guard. Yeah. And I say, Probably when the going it. gets tough, the tough get going. And I give him one, de one I reluctantly take some inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> I find that personally inspirational out of character. I'm tough. I should get going. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, pull yourself up oh, by your bootstraps. Too. Oh, no, but they re... Do they reset after a, lo a short rest, Bardic Inspiration? I think they yeah. do now. Oh, no, no. Okay. At fifth level. Right now it's long rest. Fifth so. level? Yeah. Okay, yeah. never mind. Then I've used it. Okay. And I need a d20 from you. Okay. Five. Five. <laughs> Come at me, Corey. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. I always right. love when a demon says that. <laughs> Octavia, you are on the rooftop. You are... Uh, 60 feet away from it, we're, we'll, we'll not use any of the diagonal movement rules, obviously, to cut across the top of the roofs for this block. So, you are 60 feet away from it. Alright, um, can I, uh, dash and jump, and I think you said the stone was above the, the building, so can I jump across and try to grab it in midair, football style? Oh, you will need to try, uh, treat it as a disarm attempt. Sure. How does that's an attack roll, right? Effectively, let's. I, I want to say that's how. I think we're gonna do that... it. You can only disarm during a grapple, so it's still going to be a grapple. Yeah. Okay. Grapple, grapple works. Uh, okay. You can grapple with acrobatics. So. Natural twenty. Natural twenty. Natural twenty. Let's uh, do the one time. Three. Close to a natural twenty. Oh. Um. It's a natural. That's a twenty-six. Nailed it. <laughs> <Okay>. Twenty-six. <laughs> Nineteen on the die. I have a lot of dexterity. Yes, 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 yes. yes. 19 you are older. hanging mid-air from the <laughs> stone. <laughs> oh, I was hoping I was going to break it, but okay, you whatever. You did not break his telekinesis, <laughs> but you have grabbed this stone and you're <laughs> like, what the... F <laughs> I got the stone! I got the stone! <laughs> this way, legs kicking. Ah! <laughs> hold on, Octavia. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Oh! How high in the air am I? About 25 feet off the ground. Lovely. <laughs> I got you, I got you. Oh my gosh. Um, Ooh, that was fun. I do need, because of that five roll, yep. I'm going to need a dexterity oh, saving throw. What's coming at me? Uh, the stone is more slippery than you anticipated. <laughs> okay. Dex save or ability check? It's going to be dexterity save. All right. Uh, that's a dirty 20. Yeah. You successfully yeah, hold on to it, but you feel like you're gouging your fingers into its eyes. Oh. Do the eyes feel that. like eyes or like stone? They definitely feel like eyes. They're kind of squishy. Oh. Oh, fuck. No. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how he apologizes. But the rest of it feels like stone. 
But you are using the lids like handles. No, please stop. I hate <laughs> eyes too much. Roll me a d20. Maybe. Yes, that part. Uh, that is a three. <laughs> I'm sorry, book. Oh, thanks. Thanks, buddy. Yep, yep. So, book, you have a spear brandished in your face. Wait, wait. Oh, I'm, no, not, no. I'm not there. Yeah, it's all not. No, it's me. It's oh, Alna and Kulinov. Yes. Oh, yeah, it's Kulinov and Alna. Book, Book, you were... I'm the reason they have a spear in their face. Yes, you <laughs> charged down the alley. I get hideous down. laughter. It yeah. passed its save. Yes. Okay. You charged halfway down the alley. You're halfway down the alley. Yep. It went up and over the building. You are in the alley. Okay. I have a climb speed. Yes, you do. So since I have a climb speed, I'm going to try to... Or how, how does uh, Wolverine do it? And just try to... <laughs> there you go. And try to run and, and climb over the thing and keep keep going. And uh, it, it was moving full speed, so it was moving its... so. But I can't see it, right? It's in the next alley over. You can't see it from the top of the building. Your climb speed is... 20. 20? Okay, 20 and you are able to make it 30 feet across the rooftop. So you are standing in the middle of the rooftop. You can see Octavia hanging from the stone above the next alley. Octavia, if you fall, I got you. Afternoon, book. <laughs> if you fall, I got you. Do you understand me? Okay. Um, how far away is Octavia from me? About 30 feet, except 30 up feet. above you a little bit. Up above she me. She had an and... amazing leap to that stone. Right. And that, that was after using all of my movement, right? Yes, that's 20 feet up the building and then 30 feet across a 60-foot block. And where is the gazer or a spectator or whatever it On is? On the ground level, about three feet, three feet off the ground in the next alley. You do not have line of sight currently. I do not have line of sight. Okay. Um, I'm going to then... Um, how do, do, am I able to tell how heavy that thing looks? You um, the stone? Yeah. Does it look like it's more than ten pounds? You you couldn't tell. Okay. Um, I mean, you can give me an insight, but I mean, you're you're Fine. trying to gauge a, a bread sized shaped piece of what you suppose to be stone, and it's magic. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do, and then is and i can't see i can't see the the spectator that has the telekinesis ray on it so i'm going to i'm not trying to pull it out of octavia away from octavia by any means i'm trying i'm going to cast mage hand i'm sorry and... i thought you were dashing oh well if i'm dashing then i'm done yeah i mean if you've got to use 20 feet to get up the side of the building yeah that's fine speed. yeah that's okay. fine yeah, but Oct Oct Octavia, I have you if you fall. Good. Because <laughs> I'm imagining you could go out back over the street, and then you'd be like 55 feet up. Oh, I am over the street right now. And but you're, but you're only 25 feet up, so that's not too bad. True. And I'm sorry, what was the roll? No, I'm sorry, there, there was a roll for you. Octavia, what did you roll? I rolled a three. There's a, a three. three. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. That sounds good. Yeah. Excited about what three is. You're Four. excited. So really excited. As as you are watching him flailing on this stone, you run running across Her. a skylight. Oh. Uh, um, okay. It was dark inside the building and it's foggy outside, so it was kinda hard to spot it. But I need a Strength saving throw. No, I'm going to give it a dexterity saving throw to uh, not fall through it. That's going to be an 11. You succeed in, in your light of foot. You manage not to break it as you go skittering across it. And it's sort of like suddenly you're running on ice and you don't want to fall over. You just make an adjustment to how you're putting your weight and you manage to not break it. Um, 
Okay. And then I also got a three on my die for the next person. Oh. Ooh. Lovely. Cool it off. That's going to be great. But it's the gazer's move now. Right? <laughs> I'm sorry, so spectator's the gazer, move. Right? The, the, so the spectator gets my three, right? No. It's in front no. of us. It's for whoever's behind you. Yep. No. Yeah, it's like stuff that's happening because of the stuff that you The pursuers are the ones dealing with the complications. The yeah. Yeah. the object of pursuit is creating complications. Yeah. We are the complications for it. We're trying to create yep. problems yeah. for it, which, good job. <laughs> good. Doing pretty great so far, I gotta say. Yep. Okay. I have an idea. Um, so it is not going to be able to go down either end of the alley. And it's got this weird thing holding on to the stone. But it's also holding on to the stone. <clears throat> and is not restrained by it. Oh, it's... So it's going to slam you into the ground. All right, hit me. Yep. yep. So that will be 20 feet of falling damage. 2d6. I don't know if I have any dice around here, though. I mean... I can hold it if you want. It's awesome when Dungeon Masters don't have dice, right? Yeah. I'm kidding. This is I have good. dice. Uh, so you take 10 points of falling damage. Oof. And it then Yikes. attempts to pull the stone away from you. So it's going to attempt to uh -oh. grapple, gain control of the grapple with a 19. Oppose. Um. I win? That's close, though. Um, 12 plus 7, 19. Same. Uh, meets it, beats it. You do manage to hold on to it, though oh. you are shaken like a rag doll. <laughs> it's slammed into some, some barrels and some trash cans. You got newspapers and, and rot and falling all over you, and oh. you're getting you're getting the the given the, the business given to you. And then it drags you down the alley with it. Well, that's just rude. Yeah, right. Well. <laughs> 30 feet <laughs> down the alley um, to the center, away from both directions, where it is effectively cornered, because it's not going to be able to lift you off of the ground intentionally. Okay. So, Kulinov. Yes. As you go charging towards the alley, a stained glass window is being carried down the street. <laughs> and pops out right in front of you as you're just like, you should be able to make a sharp break away from this guard now that he's focusing over on Alna. And out of nowhere, there's just suddenly a stained glass window right in your face. I need I a just, strength check. Yeah, I just go right through that, I think. Let me see. <laughs> Uh, that is a 24. That, that'll do it. There's a shattering of this masterwork, church-owned stained glass window. Takes the eyes. Right, in of right in front of a guard. Right in front of a guard. Destruction of property. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that that's not going to come back to haunt you. <laughs> Sorry, no I need way. glasses. Hey! <laughs> and everybody's screaming at you. Mm -hmm. And there's a bunch of kids laughing and screaming and, and frolicking <laughs> around and, and dancing in the mayhem, wearing their little troll masks. That's Hopefully the shards good. of glass don't hit the kids. Well, they have masks. <laughs> We're not they're the Friday fine. group. They're fine. Oh, what nope. did they do? Um, they were see. trying to catch fireball on kids. It's a story. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Not that chaos. I dash, yes, towards Octavia, who has been smashed on the ground. Yes, so you are able to actually, with 30 feet of movement, catch up with the uh, with the, the spectator, and you are in the lead. Uh, you have closed I, to melee with the spectator. Can I grab it? I wish to grab it. You wish to grab the spectator. Okay. Yes. Roll it up. It you monster. Grab it by the eye stocks. It is, a, it is a 23 grapple check. Oh my god. It's all I do. It's all you do. That is his, I mean, that's like his thing. I have one spell. You have grapple. a grapple on the spectator. Ah! 
Oh, it's gross. Oh, oh, it's oh, it's slimy. Why is it slimy and scaly? Ooh. Oh. Just real quick, scaly. where is the stat block? What does it say on that? On that in the it book? was in the basics, so I think it's in the uh, dungeon Rewind. master book for the, the monster manual. Yeah, if it's hey, basic, a minus it's one strength. Strength. So I have that right here. He has a minus one strength. If that's what you're looking for. No, 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 no I already no, got no. that portion. And he never would have beat you. Uh oh. Well, I mean, he's also got the dex. He's got a plus two dex, but he still can't beat you, even with a natural 20. Mm. Yep. That's why I said 23. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> That's a pretty good number. Uh, Gnarly, do. dude. Wait. Yeah. I don't know where that came That's from. That was, that was good. <laughs> I didn't enjoy it. Tubular, brah. Are you sure? Oh, I brah. It was pretty great. Uh, you didn't enjoy it. that, really? Crushed it. <laughs> it was very California. Yeah. You just gotta take the five all the way down. I just to love. <laughs> I can't do it. What? <laughs> I just love Starbucks so oh. much. Stut. Stut. That's it. What? What is this becoming? What is this becoming? It is uh, in the monster. I, I sent you the link over. to the monster on D on on Discord. Perfect. You, you, you have it. successfully grappled. A spectator. <laughs> this, is this is a, a great, great idea. idea. Yep. I'm sure that nothing bad will happen from that. I no. haven't killed it. <laughs> have, haven't killed it. hasn't Yet. killed you. Sure. Does it have, does it have to make any kind of concentration check okay. to hold on to it? To hold no, it's an IRA. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so that's not a concentration thing? Nope. Monster abilities generally. Damn it. They use concentration in non spells very seldomly. Yeah, it's it's a super Never mind ability. that. It's then. just it's a it's so another thing for the DM to keep track of that I'm glad they don't make me do. Yeah. Kill it off. <laughs> Roll me a D twenty. Oh no. Nice. Yes. Seventeen. Okay. No yeah, I'm not gonna get arrested for all the but you do <laughs> have this spear in your face. Are you going to address the guard or are you going to flee? I'm just gonna keep talking to the guard. I'm gonna kind of move the opposite way of the alleyway now just so his, his back, back is now okay. yeah so he's not looking down there at all okay <laughs> sure. behind him like <laughs> hold, hold on he's like being lifted off the ground slightly I'm, just, like, I'm just picturing this placid scene with the broken glass all over the ground and you're talking to this guard and there's this is going on in the background <laughs> behind the framing <laughs> Like man, you don't believe someone's in wrestling a stone and someone's too. wrestling a spectator. Yeah. They're like growling and grunting and just like trying to put it into a suplex and tie its eye stalks <laughs> into a knot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like, oh, it's good that you didn't look behind yourself. It's great. <laughs> All right, excellent. I like it. <coughs> Loose. Or, sorry. All it. Roll me a d twenty. Thirteen. Thirteen, Lucien, you have no complications that oh, you have to deal with. You are fate just loves me. You are fifteen. No, it's halfway down the alley. So you are thirty feet away from the Watchamajig. From the Watchamajig, and okay. you have Octavia on the ground in between, being slammed into things, bounced off the brick walls. I'm, I'm okay. Really really. Holding on to the stone. I'm really. I'm okay. <laughs> what do I do? Um, okay. Well, what I was going to do was to try and get, attack it mad so that it would lose its concentration on whatever I beam, but that doesn't count. So, I mean, if it's I'm... dead, it can't have it either, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pull out my poison dagger, the one which is covered in, um, uh, ah. to get this right, oil of taggart. And? Um, and there is. The ant serpent venom? Am I mixing them? It is a mixed is it like poison. A... Noish, noish, noish. Okay. <laughs> That's what you got from Fala, right? Yeah, so I'm just oh, going to wow. quickly just reopen this so that I know what's happening. Um, and I'm going to chuck a dagger at it oh, um, and attempt Ooh. to stab that boy. Yes. Um, because it's grappled, do I get any kind of advantage? Um, It is grappled, which is not I don't know if range it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But no, I believe Oh, could I then You actually oh. have disadvantage if it were prone. It, yeah. yeah, it's not though. But it's not prone. 
grapple Could generally just stops them from moving. Way up to it and just grapple like only melee stab it? It's not restrained. It's just speed is reduced to zero. Yeah. yeah. It's like, you, it's like you got one of its eyes, so it can't right. fly away. Yeah. Yep. Yep, it then is not incapacitated. Maybe... No effects. Okay. Then could I yeah, maybe move no all the way up to it uh -oh. and just like... Plunge the dagger it? into it? It will yeah. be a normal attack roll. Okay. Get Ooh, it. 18 plus 3, I believe. That yes. will hit. So, 21. Yeah. So, okay. I will tell you what it needs to do. Um, it needs to make... So, if it's both the the poisons are on it, it needs to make two concentrations, two constitution saving throws. Well, one it's a mixed DC poison. 13. I'm going to say it's one constitution saving okay. throw that affects for both. Okay, so it's a DC 13 or it's a DC 11. You can choose. Well, I'm going to say it's okay. 12 because it's a mix. There you go. Uh, okay, that's a natural 20. Oh. Uh, that's too bad. Well... Lives in nice. the sewers, you know, used to the prison. That die rolls me the crappiest of everything, and here comes this excellent moment to righteously yeah. use your poison. Do, do the poison have any effect if they save? Half damage, anything? No. Oh, nothing. that's rough. I will add my spectral it. blades to it, though. Yeah. And... Oh, you still stab it. Yeah. Did you say spectral blades? No, no. Mm -mm. Psychic blades. Seven, nine points of damage. Nine points of bad damage. Boy. So you yeah. do successfully gash the side of this beholder open. Ah! And despite having a mouth that large, for some reason it has no entrails. You Wait, can make what? this, it's clear to you that you can see its guts. And there's, there's no, no entrails in there. It's it doesn't have a digestive tract. Why does it have a mouth with no digestive tract? That's just sad. I don't like this at all. Um, okay. It's a little what bit a like open inside a pig. That's it. That's all I can do. So. Okay. Cool. <coughs> Roll me a d20. Natural 20. Okay. No complications for Save Octavia. Alright. I'm going to try to get my feet under me and like... <clears throat> up onto the ground. Okay, you you successfully stand. Takes half of your movement. Yep. Um, and I'm assuming this thing's basically locked in place. Uh, yeah, it can't really go anywhere. It's being held by Kulinov at present. No, I mean the stone locked in space, so I can't really just run away with it. Well, I mean it's being it's using an eye ray on it. You could try. <laughs> I could. Or you could just kill it. <laughs> or I could take out a dagger and <laughs> huck it at my hunter. <laughs> if you fall, I have you. Very on brand. I'm on the ground now. Oh. Is I don't try and destroy its eye that's creating the eye ray? Sure, why not? I'll aim for that. I'm okay. also just going to try to hurt it. Kill it. Okay, so you are going to be attacking from a grapple. That doesn't actually change anything. Well, I'm grappling. If you're attacking, well, no, oh, it only takes one oh. turn, one hand to attack. Yeah. Throwing a dagger, so that's fine. Yeah. Oh, that. Okay. Um, that's a dirty twenty to hit. That will hit. Dead. All right. Let me get that sweet, sweet hunter's mark damage. He's dead. He's so dead. Kill him. Uh, that is twelve piercing. Twelve piercing. Okay, that dagger sinks straight into its eye, and it suddenly the stone feels heavy in your hand. <laughs> Yes. And I'm going to, um, can how high are roofs around me? Uh, it's only 20 feet, but you've used half okay. of your movement to stand. Yeah. If there were one story, I might be able to do the, just a small jump up to one story, but I, they're not. So I'm just going to move 15 feet towards, Luc towards where Lucien came from. Okay. So, yep, that's away from yeah. the beholder. Yeah, away away from the spectator, away from Kolonov yeah, and Olna. Spectator. <laughs> away from the guard. Yeah, that too. Yes. <laughs> All right, I need a D twenty. <clears throat> two. Two. Making some friends. Okay. Oh, Next no, is going to be book. Do I have a complication? Ah, uh, yes, you will. <laughs> Tell me what you are going to do, and I Just will give that. you your complication. My intent here, assuming that I can, because I can still see Octavia, right? Yes. And 
and there's a guard that's dealing with us, and I would like Octavia to get away. So I'm going to cast Minor Illusion. I'm sorry, wait, you're on top of the building. But so I can, you can't see down uh, in because you're... Uh, in the Alma is already block. distracting the guard. He's, he's oh. got the guard facing away from the alley. Okay. Uh, um, you can use your basic movement to get to the edge of the building, I think. Yes, it's 30 feet away. Yeah, yeah. So, I, yeah, I want to get where I can where I can see Octavia. So I, that should I move to the edge of the building. Okay, 30 feet. All right. I'm not dashing. I'm looking down into the alley. And behind Octavia, wherever she's running away from, I'm going to cast the minor illusion of as large of a cart as I can, which is like a five foot, you know, cube. So it looks like there's something between. So if anybody just looks up and glances, they're going to see a cart um, full of manure. Uh, <laughs> a manure a five cart. Foot shit cart. Mm, it doesn't smell, though. <laughs> it doesn't smell, but if people are far away, they're not going to want to walk up to it and check yeah. into it. You can see the flies buzzing around it. It's uh. clearly steaming. <laughs> yep. So no interest that, in going that way. We can take that'll be there week. for a minute. Perfect. Very, very nice. Okay. Uh, and yep. Yeah, so there is no crowd for you to deal with on the roof, but I will say that there is actually a flock of birds comes flying past you. <laughs> birds, birds. And I need a strength check. Because as you start to get buffeted by these things, you dig your claws into the roof, and they're they're actually tr like they're trying to knock you into the alley. Oh. So you no. want a Watch strength out. check? Yeah, I want a strength check. I don't want to modify that one for dexterity. Yeah. Should have paid the bird guild. Well, oh my gosh! Watch out! Watch out. You might find a in the manure ten. cart. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Well, I have a three. <laughs> uh, that's a that's a fail, actually. Um, and you go toppling into the alley, but you land comfortably in a dumpster full of uh, not 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 the cart of manure, but in a dumpster full of kitchen refuse. How how far did I fall? Twenty feet, but it will be a soft landing. Okay, good. So I don't need to use. Okay, it good. It won't be damage. I, w I was. It's. A, it wasn't going to be for me because I was going to cast a spell if I had to because I have feather fall. But uh, if I don't need to, I'm not going to burn yeah. a slot on it. Yeah. No, I don't want to change the mechanics so they're they're not balanced that much. Okay. So after book will be the spectator's turn, and the spectator <sighs> is now in combat. Oh, great! Nice. Mm. Love that. Because mm -hmm. nobody has been fleeing in the last round. We have just been attacking. Yep. Yeah. Deal. That's fine. <coughs> um, that makes sense, because now we can keep this initiative order. And, like, and now Kolonov can opportunity attack it. And now I can destroy ah. it. Oh, but you, you know. still have a grapple. I do. Yeah, it, would have to, it could break the grapple and run. And, yeah. But that's a lot of things. No, it won't. <laughs> It'll probably just like disintegrate you or something ridiculous. So I don't the first I ray is going to be going towards Kolonov. Fair enough. Great. There's more than one. Yes. Oh yes. So that is kind of it iconic. is going to this purple black ray comes blasting out of one of its eye stalks directly uh -oh. into your face. <laughs> um, I need a Constitution saving throw. Oh. Please. I believe in you. <laughs> we also That's fired. Right. Please, I please. gave you inspiration. Oh my god, it is a natural 20. Thank yes. you, oh, Bart. That's the second time that's happened. <laughs> so it's showing I've done that red before. light on game, your face, and you're like, oh, oh, why, why is your eyeball... You got pink eye? What is that? <laughs> but you do still take eight points of necrotic damage. Okay. Gross! You have you have the 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 spectator pink eye. Oh, your eyes are all like bloodshot. You're like you just oh, took dude. this this necrotic ray right to the face. 
That's a real fear. Okay, I work with a lot of kids. That's a real thing. <laughs> That's terrifying. My wife works in an optician's clinic. It's uh, yeah. Well, my danger of getting pink eye is not a nominal risk. It is a real thing <laughs> that I have to watch out for. You, you did you sleep well, or am I going home? I'm going yeah, home. Right. You're going yeah. home too. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay, okay. Perfect. So. Kulinov, um, no, we have one more Ira, which <laughs> someone did just happen to slash open the spectator and yeah, is in melee yeah, range yeah. and is going to be taken. Ah! I rolled. I need a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom, okay. Still not going to happen. Eight. Oh. Confusion Ray. This target must succeed oh. on a DC wisdom saving throw. Uh, or it can't take act reactions until the end of its next turn. On its turn, target can't move, and it uses its action to make a melee or range attack against a randomly determined creature within range. <sighs> no. So, okay. That'd be great. One more. That's, I mean, poor Colin. That's off. literally everyone. <laughs> was, was I was that, gonna say. Was that before... a poison dagger you were attacking with? There was. Yeah. So, so Dagger was going to be thrown in 60 foot range. You know who's within 60 feet? The it's guard. A melee, a melee attack. I was also going to. Oh, no, it's no. Melee. He said melee it's range. Melee range. It's within okay. melee range. I also uh, was going to say if it retroactively makes you not want to hit me, I've been drawing this scene. <laughs> wait, wait. I was trying to get rid of the guard and then book hanging off a building and then you what? smashing the glass nice. me on the floor and then Octavia <laughs> hanging from the sky. That's <laughs> so, awesome. Yeah. Oh cool. man. Anyway, successful. Now you've just killed, now you've just killed my character and ruined all her work. dreams. So never mind. <laughs> so it's okay. I'm sure Kulinov's got one heck of a constitution if you should accidentally stab him next. Yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> Unless I roll That's an actual if you one. can even stab him. I mean, if you get poisoned, yeah, if I you mean... can even hit me. <laughs> <laughs> if you can even hit him. But if you do fail that con save, you're wrecked. That is some yeah. pretty, it's pretty, bad. pretty bad poison, yeah. It's pretty wrecked. Okay, I... so that will be the two eye rays, and then we will have Kulinov, who is going to be yes. dealing with... What was the, uh, the complication roll? Oh, I didn't roll. That wasn't me, not me, because I just rolled a... A check it wasn't me. It, it was our book. It would be book. Yeah. Do we still have those if we're moving into combat? Let's say no. Let's yeah. say yeah. No. we're Yay. moving on as combat. Excellent. Successful chase. I love the chase rules. We did the chase. That was yeah. fun. We did the chase. Okay. Well, I will. Uh, I will pull out my longsword, grapple it with the one hand. I'll pull out my longsword and just hack at it. Uh, chop off my stocks. I gain advantage because I have advantage on creatures I'm grappling. Mm. Ooh, the grappler feet. Yep. Underused, uh, underappreciated. And that is a... We're level four, right? Yes. yes. So I chose champion. So I crit because it's a 19. <laughs> so... Get it. The D8. Plus I'm a half orc. <laughs> so it's brutal <laughs> critical. Yes. I'd like to add my die to it again. Uh, so that is a get it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, doubled, twenty-two, plus twenty-two, six, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight points of damage. Yep. That, Critical. That is up there. That is <laughs> that is on par with the highest damage we've dealt so far on stream. Twenty-eight in a single hit. Uh, oh, you I actually know. just grab its eye stalk and just hack it off, but accidentally catch a second eye stalk that was wiggling in the way at the same time. <laughs> and this thing just slumps to the ground, and, like, the eye is, like, half gouged open, and it's got gore kind of hanging out the backside. And the stone is in Octavia's hands. <gasps> we did it. Am I Gave me pink eye! <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations to the party! You have a, a you have obtained the Stone of Galore. Great campaign, everybody! Let's go! Wait. Yeah, we're done now, right? <laughs> Am I still confused? Run away! You are still confused. <laughs> and then Colon takes a shiv in the gut. Yeah, right. <laughs> Let's just resolve that real quick. <laughs> there is one active combatant in range. 
<laughs> I'll fuck you up! <laughs> that does still I'll cut you up! I'll cut- I'll kill again, I will. Okay, we've talked about it, I've gotta see if this poison hits. Wait, do I actually have to do it? You've got one yeah. active yes. combatant in range. Yep. Cool enough. Uh, Isn't it Orna's turn, technically? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Almost got a guard. <laughs> I mean, I'm, guard. I'm, I'm just gonna hide on my turn. Okay, I'll just do it. You're, wait, so you're gonna try and get away from the guard? No, 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 no. I'm just gonna keep distracting the guard. Oh, okay, okay. I'll just, I'll just glance over his shoulder and be like, oh, that's going great. I mean, hey, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> it was a 13 to hit. That's, that's... I don't think it hits. Not even a little bit. But the maddened, the maddened Lucien is just in a battle frenzy. <laughs> you kind of just tried like that. grab you. Stop. <laughs> ah! Stop. Stop that. <laughs> I'll fuck you up. What are you doing? Stop. Stop. I can just dead. imagine you got like a hand on my forehead and I'm just yes. like. Ah. You see dead. Stop. <laughs> um, actually, how do you get rid of the confusion, Ray? Uh, it ends at the. She has it's a, it lasts only uh, a turn. until the end of its next turn. Okay. Yeah. Which is why we definitely want to resolve it. But perfect, it is resolved. You sort of oh. just hug it out while she's flailing this knife around. <laughs> Bring it in, brother. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Battle's <laughs> over. Battle's over. Sleepy time. No. <laughs> Sounds getting real loud. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lucien, smash! <laughs> <laughs> okay, you have killed a spectator, too. Uh, right in front of the guards, who, well, nope. right behind the guards. I don't think so. I don't remember doing that. No. But there's definitely a Kanku and some can... property damage. and Take that out of your notes. Uh, I don't think any of that's relevant to uh, Waterdeep <laughs> or the campaign. Or... Uh, 23 to I, I've actually I've got a running tally that's going on the back of my printout of the Code Legal. How many valid <laughs> violations? Little tag tally marks next to each one. Yeah, <laughs> with name associations. I mean, yeah. someone may or may not have, have taken sketches of you at one point or another. They have to prove it. I mean, Hammond Craddock has this this uh, officious little uh, sidekick named Jenny who just she she likes to draw things that and Craddock. take good notes. That's fine. He'll be dead by the morning, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is Lucien, the sun's getting low. It's a different <laughs> campaign. <laughs> See, Lucien is the murder bot. Okay, you have the stone. And as you look around, the guard hears a, a clash and sees some kids breaking into a building down the road. Oh. says, if I see your face again around here, I swear I'm going to remember it. Wait, wasn't wait, there two wait. of you? <laughs> <laughs> ah, you freaking kids! Goes running off down the street. Oh, thank God. Meddling kids. The busiest time of year for those guys. You gotta really hand it to them. They work hard. He's really trying to do his best. He's yeah. just earning a wage, guys. Right. Just earning yeah, a wage. So, so Alna's now going to try and find himself a troll mask. Just to slip <laughs> on. Uh, yeah, are you going to take one from a kid? Because there aren't any just laying about. I thought we had one. We had some from last time. I wrote that down that we had. We do. There we are sorry, a few of the We already stole that. some from some kids. Yeah, <laughs> okay, so you, you're able to, you know, hey, let me borrow that mask. You can put that on in the alley. Um, and as you're walking uh, into the alley, you realize that amid the puddles, something is not quite right. Um, just slosh it along, and I need. Alna, I need a dexterity saving throw. Awesome. That's a six or five. Let me check. Uh, I mean, it fails either way. But... Yeah, yeah, I think that's uh, six of one, half a dozen of another. <laughs> <laughs> oh, six would have got it, if only. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is a six. Yay. <laughs> Missed it by that much. All right. You let me... Barely fail. Where is the? There it is. Okay, perfect. Hey guys, how was your adventure without me? I found like a ton of jewels. It was great. 
as you step in one of the puddles as you're walking down the alley, I mean, your boots are scotch guarded. It's no big deal. It's just a little bit of water. Snap! A bear trap goes off on your leg. Oh! <laughs> you take three you slashing damage. Stuff. How much? Three slashing damage. Oh, okay. Three slashing? Oh, okay. The... And you are restrained. And in so from almost... the opposite end of the alley come eight small children that look, they move a little bit oddly, but their troll masks are canted at an odd angle. And oh, no. you realize after a few steps that they've got tails hanging out the back and they're kobolds. They're not uh, kids. Oh. They're kobolds dressed as kids, dressed as trolls. And <laughs> they're coming down the alley towards you. Oh, no. On this usually quiet, but as soon as that snaps on his leg, he's like, "What the fuck!" <laughs> <laughs> I reflexively stealth. I don't have enough spells to heal you. And roll for initiative. <laughs> ah, not again! <laughs> oh, just hey, one thing after good. another in this sequence of events. Why like, can't we just get grinding. some rest? It's okay. You I don't have any spells. I still have one healing word because I took the magic initiate feat, but I got okay. I don't. I didn't get attacked. I didn't get hit last time. I just got confusion, so it didn't do anything. That was the first time I've taken. Was this a good time to take a quick break? We can go to break on the stream shortly. Uh, we will come back in uh, seven minutes. Seven, seven minutes. Seven uh, minutes. That will be minutes. twenty-five <laughs> till thirty-five. <laughs> after, take your pick opposite on that 35 till 25 after all right we'll be back in seven minutes everyone sure sure why not Boom, back. we're not late they're late yeah what took you guys long so long yeah. uh, what, what took, took you guys, guys so long, long? <laughs> all right <laughs> and we are in the initiative tracker um <laughs> And we're going to reset initiative, or do we want to continue? Let's just continue our initiative. Okay. Yeah, that's fine yeah. with me. I mean, I rolled the same I did thing roll thing. another initiative, but I don't Yeah, I did it too, but that's okay. I rolled good the first time, and I rolled good this time too. It is going to put Octavia you... ahead of Lucienne this time, though. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Um, can, <laughs> I, can I just let her go? You want me to go first? Because yeah. I was going to say, if we wanted to do our... Sure, okay. that's fine. I moved it. Um, and then I am going to. <gasps> hmm. This is what I need to do. I need to go into my DM login. Not on the, 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 the stream login. Am I going first then? My tea's cold. Does anyone know where I put my uh, wood glue? Because I've been looking for it and I can't it's find it. It's next to the and chisel. Your guess three. is as good as mine at this point. So It's next to the chisel. It is. Oh, I'll have to check. We should go back to troll school. I actually have chisels over there. I'll go check next. If they're next, to, if it's next to the chisels, they're good. Do you do woodworking? Yes. That's so, so you and Corey are like brothers. Yes, brothers, brothers from other wood mothers. <laughs> wood mothers. <laughs> this is this is my dice tower. I made it. Is that why you're a wood son? That, that's pretty. It is. One. Hey. That is pretty. I don't have anything that pretty to show you from here. <laughs> it's too large, though. I end up using this one. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Yeah. All right. Um, I made lots of stuff. Okay. Um, I just need to add a token, and for the cold. Thank you, Roll Twenty, for including so many tokens with this uh, expansion. It's been. Was that sarcasm? <laughs> I don't Thanks, do sarcasm. Are you sure? Because I've heard it from you. You would not fit in in the UK. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my experience. What are you talking about? Would. I just said I don't do sarcasm sarcastically. Uh huh. Reminds me of my, my favorite definition is still from the Mighty Ducks. Am I too good but, at sarcasm? When the coach yeah. asked the kid, "Do you know what sarcasm is?" and the kid says, "No." <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> oh, I don't know what sarcasm is. Yes. Exactly. That was delicious. It was. I could. I could taste that sarcasm. <laughs> yeah, I'm British. Yeah. <laughs> Where is my 
then. This is not my character sheet. This is Terry Tempestino. Yeah, it's it. better. This All right, cool. Oh, guess what? My I thought that my other character was going to die on Wednesday, on <laughs> yesterday's game. He didn't die. I was so happy. All right. That's Let's... it. <laughs> Your other game? You have another game? Oh, how dare you! So many. How I have six you. other games. Yeah. Yep. In a polyamorous relationship with your day Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> <That's> games. <cool. laughs> <laughs> it's so complicated. It's so much scheduling. Yeah. Uh, it's... One is once a month. And, uh, I keep trying to squeeze in another game, but I can't. <clears throat> honestly, I'm waiting for this one to be done. <laughs> yeah, I, I have that. another group, and there are. Three games going on. Don't talk about this one being yes. done. I will be dead. <laughs> You're still be. We'll still be hanging out. It's still a. Uh, well, it the there's, always, there's always the dungeon of the mad mage, too. What? It's, I'm okay. sure we're not going to do anything for that. I'm sure that nothing's going to happen. Speaking no. of sarcasm, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not like tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern time we have a meeting to discuss it. I don't. Meeting Wait, let me, for gaming. What the hell is that? That makes it sound not fun. Let's not do that. Yeah, a meeting. To See, D and D is much like my real job because my real job, I'm I just swivel right here and I spend all day on conference calls and screen sharing. Yeah. <laughs> and then I do, me and I do conference calls and screen sharing. Yep. Yeah, I'm low key just, hoping enough. Uh, like a couple people have to cancel my game tomorrow so I can go to the drag uh, Mad Mage. Oh. Meeting. I think there used to be a, a, and like, they're watching this game initiative. right now. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> literally all... Same start time. It's just yeah. as overlapping as possible. Right. Didn't there used to be the ability to roll initiative when you selected a token? Yeah. Probably. You just, you I have no idea. <laughs> I mean, you could just roll a dex check on them if you. No, no, you click in their in their character sheet. You Nothing. click on their name. Nothing. That's a lot of kobolds. Put it wherever you want. Well, it did say there was six kobolds. Is there more? There's eight. Yes. Eight. Oh. And I think there are I currently have, nine. I have something that can grab. Oh, oh yeah. Nine. Is that right? Nine. I have something that can get them. nine. 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 I, I nine. think someone needs to take another look critical. at their screen. Is there going to be even more? Oh, there's nine just... and a bugbear. Well, you can't see the bugbear yet, so I'm just I putting it out there for uh, initiative reasons. I bet. So there's oh, yeah. three kobolds and a bugbear that we don't see. One so cobalt and a bugger. So there's three cobalts. Because <laughs> yeah, we only see a group of six. Fun. <laughs> okay. It'll be fine. We see six or eight. I feel like I've heard both numbers now. There's I'm, eight. I have no idea there's, anymore. There's nine cobalts and a bugbear, but it doesn't matter because they're all dead. And a partridge hey, in yeah. a pear tree. tree. Hey, Christmas <laughs> themes. There's probably a bugbear. I can't song believe it just freaking. And I'm trapped in a bear trap. Uh oh, that's true. Twelve fires firing. Eleven. Oh, oh no, it's high fighting. Oh, oh no, it's really bad. Nice going. Guys, out pretty quick because the rest of them are all gonna act on initiative. Eleven. But what was that? Buzz, buzz. <gasps> oh shit, that was my phone. Ghost box. I guess it's by my Mac. Sorry. Oh Jesus! It's not the first time it's okay. happened. I need a defibrillator. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> We cast spare the dying. <laughs> if only through the uh, through the screen. Okay. Stabilized. My computer is. So my first familiar. up is going to be Lucien. I am going to kind of like go. Oh fuck! Um, and turn around, look at the kobolds, raise a hand, and I'm gonna just focus on one of their masks. And I'm going to shatter it to pieces. Um, and everyone around them has to make a constitution saving throw. That, that's exactly shatter. how that one goes. You're going to shatter yeah. the mask. I'm going to shatter one of their masks. Oh, that's actually a really or, good roll. like everything. But so they, they have to roll separately, right? Yeah. Um, it, sure. Con saves. We'll say that you get five of them in the It's a ten-foot sphere. I thought they were all kind of... Like clumped together. You know what? The alley is about ten feet across, so I will say that you yeah. can get all of them. That's fine. That's a Yay! ten foot radius, so it, the radius. shatter is twenty feet across. So you're definitely yeah. covering them. Yeah. Uh -oh. The buildings start collapsing in, like the wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a don't give them ideas. <laughs> so w the first one is going to succeed. I hate doing this on all of them. Sorry, Second but... will fail. Yes. 
second or third will fail. Yeah. Fourth will fail. Three twos in a row. Fifth Weird. will succeed. Sixth will fail. Yeah. Seventh will critically fail. Oh. And the eighth will succeed. Okay. I'm happy. All right. Good job. What's Five the thousand. damage on this? Three. Oh, okay. So seven, four. Five, so nine, sixteen, and then did one critically fail? Does that take double? No, no, no. Okay, then sixteen damage. Oh, yeah. Well, Ow. um, so sixteen damage. So you remember those kobolds that were in the alley? <laughs> 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 Not anymore. It was my second level. They only have five hit points. Please. Let's hope there were no children in that group. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Uh, let's hope I they were think. all actually they kobolds. Were kobolds. Oh, Octavia just holds a hand out to the side of Lucien for high five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was um, inspirational in its uh, terrifying <laughs> capacity. Just waved your hand and killed eight kobolds. Eight sentient creatures. Eight, eight lights of beacons of intelligence that you have dehumanized <laughs> And I mean, they weren't happened. humans in Youth the first place. Euthanized in the alley in hey, Waterdeep. Cobalt screaming. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. There, there was no chance to scream. They just they were snuffed out yeah. in a flash at the end of the alley. It wasn't I, really a flash. It was more of a kaboom. Yeah, it was a thunderclap. You did it. Yay. They're, they're dead. Good. Good. There weren't any children in there, were there? All their masks are shattered. Can I see? You'll have can to I, check. Can I make a perception You'll check? You'll have to, to go see? take a look. Oh, can no I use my movement? That. We need to get Anna out of this thing and you get away before the guards show up. Movement. Okay, and then up. You know what? I'm gonna not. Ignorance is bliss. I'm gonna go up to Anna <laughs> and kind of try. And... I don't know. As just... you're as you're sloshing down the alley, roll <laughs> a deck save. Ah. Uh! <gasps> Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's a, should be a, a 25, I believe. 24. Oh, you, you know, you're about to step down into a puddle, and then you re look over at Alna and realize, wait a second, look down, there's another trap that you're about to step on, and you're unable to avoid the trap, but you are able to uh, prevent it from closing on you. Nice. You set it up. <laughs> and it snaps sucks. right next to your foot. Oh. And you're like... Everybody watch your step. <sighs> yeah. Hey guys, there's like there's like stuff in the in the pond, no, in the puddles. Oh boy. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> and out of the uh, out of a dark corner steps this furry angry looking individual. Uh long gangly arms. Says that was my best crew. You'll be paying for that. Oh, well, if that's your best, then oh, I if that, that's not yeah. very good. Uh-uh. And I need... Where, uh, where... Best crew ain't shit. Oh, wait, no. That's not good. I don't like this. You will. Do-do-do-do. Mm -hmm. Disney hunts you down. <laughs> I need Disney an intelligence like saving throw. An intelligence saving throw? He can't magic, he's a bugbear. Oh, oh nice. no! Four! Why? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Not only can he magic, but Successfully. <laughs> four, why? Why four? It's, it's why just feeble, guys, power? don't worry, just feeble mind. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> another I game have... I had, there was an intellect devourer in uh, the water deep sewers that uh, got my sorcerer friend at level two. Don't say that now. You don't say this Now right is now. the best time to say it. I mean, whatever Corey's got, he's Corey? already got. Look, he's already looking it up. Corey, what? What are you doing? What have you done? I oh, thought the bugbear um... goes after the next couple of us in the. Uh... You take yeah. eleven psychic damage. 
Okay. So did um, I not? Did it somehow go between Lucien and I's twenty twos? Okay, it's, cool enough. Uh, th there was another creature that you uh, weren't it, aware you, of. You, oh. um, Octavia, you delayed your turn. Yeah, I'll just go right after you. Oh, okay. That's fine. Uh, it kills you. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. You're dead. It's fine. Feels good, man. I'm going to be. Pray for Lucien. And we need an intelligence contest. For me and him. Because Again. you are incapacitated. With an intelligence score of zero. Oh! So, wait, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. What's happening? I don't understand. <laughs> okay, I'm so. Right now. Do I have to roll a d20? Uh, it it oh. is a d20. It's an intelligence contest. You get your intellect modifier. Nothing. What does it? What does it roll? Oh, that's so that. Rolled... You can you can probably beat that. I rolled an eleven. If you had Corey, maybe you been no. inspired or had advantage. <laughs> can't I can't inspire myself. I I got pseudo inspiration Corey. from failing um, to jump. Do can I gift my inspiration to Lucienne? Well, nobody no. else. <laughs> Nobody else is aware of what's going on. Uh, in but you have, your, your mind has been uh. invaded. No, they, what does that mean? No, they work for the throne. Uh, they get special. What does that mean? Uh, means your cuckoo. You have a deadly <laughs> puppet master. Cuckoo for cuckoo. Uh, so, so wait, hang on one second, one second. What did he roll on his intelligence? Because am I allowed to add anything to that eleven? Eighteen it was an eighteen. I would have got okay. So, uh, you thought I could don't, don't those things have to reduce the her you. intelligence to zero first? No, it's not. An it did. It, it did the three d six, which yeah. beat the intelligence score. Yeah. Ooh, that's it was, really it was a seventeen. Yeah. Um. Oh my god! Reducing yeah. it to zero, which allowed the body thief. Yep. Jesus. Yes. Yeah. What is that? So you are under uh. control of an intellect devourer currently. It means you're stuck inside your body while your body does things that you don't want it to. Yay, horror. <laughs> <laughs> Nightmare you dream. That, you remember that brain dog Eldrick thing in the elithid's lap? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. no, no, no. It's coming oh, for you. Did the I, really liked I literally just bought dice for Lucien. No. <laughs> I, I don't I don't think Lucien is dead. I think you're no. still Yet. redeemable. Why is that he a needs a greater resto. Oh shit, I only have minor. Bless her. Whose turn is it? Order to be knocked out. <laughs> or to but be there's, killed. There's other ways. There's other yeah. ways. It could voluntarily leave your body. <laughs> it could. All right, let's get Theoretically. On. But we don't know any of this. We know none of this. We don't even know anything's wrong. Yep. So, so, so Lucien just sort of like, as the, the bugbear comes out, you're going to pay for that. And she just kind of stares at it. And we will move into the next initiative order. Octavia. Octavia. I'm going to move Hunter's Mark under it because that's still up. And murder this thing. for Because I'm angry at it for reasons I don't know in character, but I want it dead. <laughs> oh, the bugbear? It's a bugbear. Yeah. Yeah. I want it so dead, though. So, okay, so a 26 hits, a natural 20 hits, and a 22 hits? Oh, yes. Yes, it's a bugbear. Kill. <laughs> I angry compile my dice. <laughs> <laughs> um, math time. Uh, okay. <sighs> And this plus 15. <laughs> Kill it. <laughs> Kill it. 15 20. damage? Oh, no, 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 no. Plus 15. There's a bunch no. of dice. Plus I showed 15. some dice. Because <laughs> rogues. Oh, wait. 
<laughs> Pseudo rogue. Mm-hmm. Wanna be rogue. Fifty-six slashing damage. What? <laughs> With all three hits. I mean, it's all three hits. It's not. Yeah, that's three attacks. Three hits. One of them's a crit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it has twenty-six. Morga, who had a name, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> not anymore. Um, had twenty-seven hit points. <laughs> um, twenty-seven times two is fifty-four. Ooh. Oh my! Ooh. There's gosh. not even a chance to save poor Morga. Oh. <laughs> was, that, was that the bugbear or the intellect devourer? That was, that the, was bug the bug bear. I don't think we see the intellect, the intellect devourer. devourer. Sees this, decides, yeah. oh, <laughs> um, on second thought, <laughs> and you it's, feel it's, the pressure it re- remove itself from your mind. <laughs> <laughs> but you feel like something slimy has left a residue in between your ears. Uh, Emma, do you listen to Metallica? Hey! Oh, well, maybe I will start. Why? <laughs> because there's a song. It's oh. called One. Exactly. <laughs> I thought you were saying that if you listen to Metallica, you've got slime between your ears. And, yeah, I gotta say, I used to listen to nothing but Metallica. <laughs> I still oh listen to well, not not nothing, but I had a Metallica and Iron Maiden phase. Mm-hmm. Phase, I, phase. It's not a phase; it's a life. Yeah, I it's mean, a, but it's gone now, so it's a phase. Yeah, that's a shame. It was it was seven years of a phase, and I may or may not have been playing some guitar yesterday. It has been and since the day I was born. Recreating Metallica covers just Metal yesterday. Die. How many pieces is this bugbear in? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> you were attacking with your bow? Axes. Oh! <laughs> that was a bugbear? <laughs> <laughs> There's an earlobe that. that's recognizably bugbear hanging from a brick on the wall. <laughs> the rest of it you're not so sure about. It could have been a boar. Mm. It's well, furry we'll mammal. It. It's white meat. You're not really sure. I mean, it's been properly butchered. They need a forensic scientist to identify the remains. That's Ugh. horrifying. Guys, let's... Like, can we get the fuck out? I am not... Uh... There's like one cobalt left. <laughs> no, no, there's no cobalt left. Oh, do they all die? Oh, amazing. <laughs> there, there were eight of them clustered together at the opening of the alley. And Lucian's just like, I ain't got time for this shit. Man, I love spellcasters. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, well... So you have the Stone of Galore. Yeah. Uh, you so, have so, no active pursuit against you. I'm still in a bear trip, though, so how do can I get I, out? A can strength I, check. Can yeah. I thieves tools to I'll, kind of disarm it? I'll just, thieves I'll just tools hold will it not open. disarm. I'll just hold it open while he gets out. Fred. Okay, so that'll be a strength check. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's a 22. <laughs> Who leaves toys laying about in an alley like this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not sure if this thing would hold a rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> In oh, fact, crazy. I'm surprised Omni even noticed. Yeah. Uh, it's a shame. I've it's stepped like... on worse nails. Sure. Yes. Okay. It's definitely a nail. Sure. We'll call it that. So you have this stone, um, and it, it sort of has, as you're holding it, Nat, you hear... Like this whispering. Now that it's quiet, you can hear a sort of like. It sounds like it might be in a in a demonic language. You're not really certain what it is that you're hearing. <coughs> but with some proper rest and some study, perhaps you might be able to decipher what it is saying. If you just sit down hold this thing and start maybe trying to write it out. Let it kind of like it right through you, maybe. And just really that, that attune sound to it. That doesn't sound healthy at all. <laughs> um, yeah. Can we, we... Hey, friends, we should really... Yeah, we should back flee. To troll school. We should run yeah, to Troll School. Guys, we should, we should sneak to Troll School. We should We're not going to be able to troll sneak. masks on and walk calmly to Troll School. I'm going invisible. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I disappear into the shadows in front of you with a 26 stealth. <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly I... you don't know where the Stone of Galore is. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. What was that? Uh, Book? I said, Octavia, I wanted to talk to you about the magic. Uh, we can do it at school. 
words. That's not magic that you want to talk to. It's just a whisper um, into the air of Octavia going, let's get back home first. And not all the magic is magic that I want to talk to. All the magic. All the magic? So you make your way back. Can all I? the magic? <laughs> go move. Yes, can I, Emma. As I'm invisible, magic, can I go up to Morga's the... body and try and like, <laughs> find stuff? And find stuff? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <Good> um. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, actually. I rolled something. Yeah, it's, it. there's a name tag. has her name on it. <laughs> all child's drawing. 17. Um, <laughs> a letter from a loved one. Her <laughs> oh no! There's so there's surprisingly undestroyed a necklace actually with some bone teeth on it. Uh, it could have been you know sentimental, but you'll never know. <laughs> I know. Why you gotta take this from me? We were just <laughs> we were just talking about how we haven't killed that many people. <laughs> We're just talking about this. <laughs> no, no, we're not murder hobos. We're not that bad. It seems wanted... the more you, more, the deeper you get involved in this gang conspiracy, the more violent you respond to things. Okay, yeah, to be I mean, fair, in the whispers, in the to whispers, be fair, yeah. if I stepped in a bear trap and eight little lizards came out, I think responding with deadly force is, uh, you know. Yeah, but she wasn't I, the one who stepped in the bear trap. I wanted to make that bugbear into my bread. <laughs> oh my God. That is crazy. Lucien I mean, it's not is cannibalism. Listening. And like yeah. what she hears. I, I, I will say that, uh, you know, as a guard, you spend a lot of your time just trying to keep the violent underbelly of the city from breaking out into the streets. And these last few weeks, you really feel like You've done the opposite and pushed it maybe out into the streets. And yeah. if your superiors were to find out, you worry that you might face more than a little bit of a termination. Yeah. I've technically not broken. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so you make your way back to uh, Do you remember yeah, when you Cobalt tried to noble? and bugbears aren't people, <laughs> even if they have names. <laughs> And they live in a city. <laughs> we can have sentimental feelings. We're going to have to put up a... Uh... Feel guilty! <laughs> there, it's not like they were trying to kill monster. you or anything. It's your word against it... theirs, and they're not saying nothing. <laughs> yeah. Y'all, let's go. Trolls I mean, you your way back to Troll School. The and as you come back inside, Leif pours a drink for each of you. Oh. The and their welcome is spelled out across the board, the Ouija board of a bar top that you have made. Repairs are coming along quite nicely, though. You are still worried about perhaps the guilds, uh, as you have not obtained your licenses yet. And after all the other things that we saw today, the guilds are the last thing that I am worried about right now. Guys, can we sleep, please? I'm so tired. <laughs> uh, Octavia's gonna appear in through the front door uh, and say, I have good news, friends. And she opens up her backpack and dumps out four gold trade bars. We got a payment from the Temple of Gond. Oh. Oh. Great. Ex ex so that's excellent. Um, this reminds me. Um, <coughs> Lucien. Yes. Where did you go today? Oh, right. Um, we were so... a little busy and, you know. Yeah, well, uh, Grinda uh, needed a bit of help uh, to... Uh, Grinda help needed out. help. Oh. Yeah, I'm always ready to help a citizen of Waterdeep. <clears throat> you know me. Um... And I, although I love you guys very much, <laughs> as companions, I thought to myself this poor woman who's almost died might need my help a little more than you strong people. Do we <laughs> get a short rest? <laughs> yes. What sort of... You have no reason not to take a rest at the moment. Yes. Can we take a long rest? Yes. Can we please take a long rest? Yes. Okay. You take a long rest. That's why we're <gasps> oh, back in yeah! troll school. Yes! <sighs> okay. Which could I... possibly I... mean that there's something terrifying coming your way. 
I feel my hit points washing back over me. (laughs) But not only, as you nestle in and snuggle up to your stone of galore. (gasps) Oh, I'm attuning to it. (laughs) Yes. Are you actually? (gasps) Okay. Oh, oh, actually, technically, first I'd like to spend a short rest with it to learn its properties, and then I'd like to attune to it. Mm-hmm. You don't want to talk to any of the magic users. Yeah, I was gonna say you just want to do that. That's a great. You know, oh, if, you... oh, if we were, if we were jumping to the next day, I was going to. But if we wanted to actually spend a little time on this day still, then we can spend. Well, time. there is one thing that does need to still happen this day, because shortly after you're sitting down and having a drink and and, and trying to communicate with Leif and and figure out how you're going to be repairing this place. In through the door walks a familiar face. Yep. There's a large Aleskan individual with a shaved head in an officious manner and a long flowing purple and gold robe. I see you have not gone into business yet. That is good. I see you you haven't learned how to knock. (laughs) Got him. So, can I just really quickly check, is this Hammond Craddock? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is Hammond <laughs> Craddock. And I've also heard some spiteful rumors about myself, but I'm sure you imagine, you might imagine, that I get that a lot in my line of business. So, thank you for allowing my reputation to precede me where I may have to go next. So, have you? I'm sure... That whoever the guild's gold, gold, because I see you have alcohol. Personal alcohol. Hmm? Oh, personal. Oh, yes. personal. Oh, we are allowed to buy alcohol. Personal use. Oh, also, certainly, certainly. Also, I just yeah, assumed well, that you were trying to go into business. I mean, if you just want to live in this rather creepy place, I suppose that's a completely acceptable would you like to see? Uh, would you oh. like to see our new countertop? That's except, I'm sorry, so sorry. This is actually zoned as commercial. Yeah, yeah we'll, get, um, we'll get in there. Yeah. Uh, but you're one to represent it for any of the guilds. Well, the guilds are the other people. So why are you going to fuck off our property? Hammond, I actually have a word of warning for you. You wanted to mind. buy our product, property. If I could talk to you alone for just one minute. No! <laughs> <laughs> I heard it. Yes, yeah, Lucien uh, was it. I do believe we yeah. should have a word. Yeah. As a city watch, I actually have come across some so awful this, rumors. This matter of 50 gold pieces for your uh, permitting with the Vintner's mm-hmm. Winery and Brewer's Guild. Mm-hmm. 50 gold Are you addressing pieces. me directly? Yes, and, and he makes his way into the back with you. Okay. We will get to that in just one moment, but my good friend... Yes, I do believe we have come to know one another quite well at this point. I've heard some awful rumors. You know of the Zentrum, yes? Yes, well, they, they are, are a blight upon the city. Are you, perhaps? They are coming for you and your family. And if you don't leave Waterdeep, they will inevitably kill you all. I recommend they are the biggest threat to you at this moment. And if you do not leave, or at least step down and maybe take a step back, you never know what might happen, and I'm going to use words of terror on him to make him terrified of the center room. Okay. Hey, I that's... don't know. I feel like that'd be. Is there, there's there's a roll on that, right? Yeah. yeah there's there's a roll. Uh, is there a roll? Is it not? No, it, it... no they, get, they get a save. What, what, yeah. Yeah, what does the feature actually say? A wisdom save. Let me just tell you, because I haven't printed off a new character sheet. So in it would probably be a DC decades. 14. So. Uh, DC 15. 15. Oh, Wisdom saving good, throw. That's a good DC. That oh. is. That's a one. <gasps> <laughs> Immediately, his bowels you. evacuate. The Zentrum, you say? I've... Run. <laughs> I've heard terrifying <laughs> things that they do. Just yesterday, there was something found in an alley. And it could have once been a boar... <laughs> or I, I don't know what the rumors Hold abound that. that there's a missing bug bit. There's there's a slaughtering of kobolds found in the same and it's all been chalked up to being the Zentrum. Can you believe yeah. it? I've gotta go. And they're coming for you. That's you have to run. 
Why would they be after me? I've done nothing to them. That's oh, my watch works so fast. <laughs> I've got seven children to protect. I I've got to go. I, I appreciate and good luck in all of your business and everything. And I'm sure uh, <gasps> that the guild will send another official out tomorrow. But for now, I must run. Have a, a wonderful evening. And I'm so sorry for imposing. And he makes his way out of the building. <laughs> <laughs> excellent. <laughs> Bloody excellent. <laughs> well, uh, and that is where Hammond Craddock was last seen. Um, <laughs> he may be Never on a mountain again. somewhere hiding from the Zentrum, or they might have got him, but nobody <laughs> ever heard from Hammond Craddock again. <laughs> I don't know how the other games are like how it works timeline wise or if at all but if ham and Crotic could be gone from all the other games too that's really <laughs> yeah. so nice just mysteriously no explanation just i'm sure the other streams have actually already dealt with the guilds it's just been hanging over your heads okay so real talk 50 gold to the wine and vintners guild yep i uh, actually have that i just really don't like him i want to <laughs> I put 50 gold in the center. Oh. <laughs> you did the, uh, it was the a... campaign for? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. He wasn't even that, like, the worst person. Like, Froon was way ruder. <laughs> it's just Lucian decided to pick on this guy. I think Froon yeah. declared war on you. <laughs> yeah, next. That's the next one. So, by <laughs> what I have written down, it's 1,250 gold to actually get the inn up and running. I think yes. we had part of that paid. Uh, you had done repairs, the and there was, a, by estimation, 750 gold worth of repairs remaining. Mm -hmm. And then there were the 250 gold pieces worth of uh, well, guild dues. Only we had some gold bars or there something. There goes our trade bars. <laughs> yeah. We could melt down to... Wait, how many of those were there? Four. There are, you In said there each are bag. There's oh. a lot, man. Worth 250 <laughs> oh. gold pieces each. Oh. Yeah. That was twice as much as I. I we, okay, There's so we have a thousand, thousand gold pieces. Two thousand gold bag. pieces. That was an <laughs> epic loot. Okay, well, we have, um, so we have a thousand left. I take my fifty left. <laughs> right. So we oh, spend. And I'm gonna go off and buy an actual goddamn longbow. Because <laughs> I'm level four and I need it. <laughs> you might even consider yep. the masterwork version. Yep. Uh, yeah, like a plus three one. There is this excellent uh, neighbor that you've got who does craft very fine woodworking. That's yeah. great, but I'm going to buy a normal one for tomorrow. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and you've got, a, you've got a good relationship established with all of your repair work on the stools. And you know, there's a, a crew that was uh, you know, known for repairs that uh, has been out looking for business. So maybe mm -hmm. you can contact them. Excellent. So, should be up and running within the week, right? I mean, unless it burns down. Uh, well, uh, who would do that? Ideally. I mean, you haven't even insured the place yet. <laughs> I go and insure it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you insure the ghost-infested, uh, rotting, windows-broken building. I'm sure that our rates are going to be great. They really would be. <laughs> <laughs> um. Can While I not the other shopping, can I pick up like four healing potions? No. This is the if next day. If you want to talk to Fala about that, tell him no. We're on the next day, yeah. We yeah, can do that It will be the next yes. morning. You can say that you handle this in the early morning. We'll we'll resume yeah. around noon. Um, and you've run some errands. You've accomplished the potions that you felt you needed. Um, and your longbow. Oh, you no. Attuned oh. to the stone of galore, though you are only committing to a short rest for Octavia. If you attune, yeah. Not only Come with on. the attuning, but with all of the errands as well. Yeah. Uh, I'll do some of them tomorrow. I'll take a, yeah. I want a long rest. Yeah, you do. Okay, so you're going to take the long rest and you're going to do the attunement. That's going to get you about 12 hours and then a few hours. You can either have the longbow or the potions. I'll take the longbow for today. You're okay. doing the attunement before you talk. Okay. I, so, most, honestly, wise, mostly Octavia. just to get to the next day. Yeah. Octavia. Oh so no. after you go to you go to sleep with your head cuddled nestled up on this weird, creepy alien three eye loaf of stone. Dead. You wake up in the morning and it's given you dreams. Odd dreams. And it's whispered in your sleep all night. And there's a journal on your table next to your bed. 
and in it, in your own script, are notes. And they're similar, like a dream journal almost. Yeah. And it, it cryptically start, start, starts talking in meandering sentences that don't completely make sense. But the general gist of it is that there are three keys that are going to be required to enter the vault. And in another passage, you find that uh, within the passage, within the vault, there is a dragon who guards dragons. And you're not sure if that means that there's a piece of gold guarding gold or if there's a, a dragon with hatchlings, but the sum of half a million dragons is probably more than you're expecting to actually have in a clutch. So there might be some gold involved there. Half a million dragon wormlings. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we can take that. I, just, I, look at the, I look at the journal and go, Dude. I didn't know I could read Undercommon. Yep. Nailed it. Hmm. <laughs> so, scribbled on another page is a sketch. The sketch is of a beholder eye stock on one page. It appears to be, you're not sure if it's from a gazer, a spectator, or a beholder, what it is, but it, it sort of sl it's, it, uh, slithers up the page or so, and it's got an, an hourglass-shaped eye on the end of it, and it seems to be leaking some sort of fluid out the severed end. The second drawing that you see appears to be a dragon scale, and with an arrow pointing to it, it says bronze. It's a scale of some form anyways. It could be basilisk. But you've never seen a bronze basilisk. A little weird. And on the last one, you see a pair of ears. You're not really sure... Um, it could be orc or hobgoblin, maybe bugbear. It's it's kind of gruesome to see them just hanging from a leather thong like that, but they don't appear dried yet in your sketch. And, and you're actually, when you're looking at it, if this was your drawing, you'd be rather proud of it. I pick up the stone, look at it, and go. You were one twisted lump of rock. And it whispers into your mind, I am no rock, friend. I drop it. Scuttle across the room. <laughs> <laughs> Call those wizards. You gonna get eaten. Alna? Eaten. Alna! <laughs> Alna comes and with room. that, we're gonna call the game for the day. What? Ah, ah. Okay. Oh, and <laughs> Lucien and Book have some uh, conversations. Oh, next I'm time. so sorry. There's actually one other thing that the stone does convey to you. The entrance to the vault is in the back of a theater. Ooh. Okay, cool. Of course it is. Oh my gosh. I love theater. Yeah, I feel like oh, we're oh, have a conversation at some point. Are we going to burn down the theater? This group might. Conversation <laughs> now, could they? It's gonna be hilarious. All right, everyone. Thank you for playing you again. Thank you for watching us as we uh, we raid Waterdeep, uh, the city of bards and misfortune, as it would seem. But yeah. <laughs> so sorry. Oh, we need misfortune for a bard soon. <laughs> that was a terrible, no. terrible, <laughs> terrible like, devourer moment. I'm so sorry, Emma. But uh, that... yeah, when you were quiet, I was like, no. She's dead. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it, I'm not even joking. When I rolled the 3d6 to find out on the intellect overpowering and it rolled a 17, I'm like, no way. Yeah, right. There should have been a couple <laughs> rounds of attempts on this. After nope. that, I had 10 hit points, so I wasn't looking. I wasn't feeling good. Mm -hmm. 3d6 and go, oh, I wish made this it was through. ability. This is for stats. <laughs> <laughs> but that intellect devourer has made a couple appearances now. Yeah. Beginning to think that there's a 
a tie between all of these different strange occurrences that you wouldn't normally see in a level one to five campaign. No. <laughs> yeah. I blame the bugbear. Always. Well, there's no no bugbear bug left to blame. What bugbear? <laughs> You mean, that, bear meat? you mean that say, boar look, slaughter in the alley? I mean, that must have been a butcher shop. You did say mm -hmm. there was a couple ears stuck to the wall. <laughs> they being beat up. Oh, um... Hmm. It's an interesting detail was. to mention. <laughs> I wonder Sorry. if that was meaningful in any way. Probably not. Didn't, didn't our bard just deal with a... I wonder what color that dragon was. <laughs> well, we just want a spectator and call oh, up a couple eye stalks. Yeah. Like, I no, should probably that. Fine. It's probably fine. Was it a pro? It was a I pro. don't remember. <laughs> like these pieces are all falling together. It's almost like we have to finish this in one more session. <laughs> no. Don't say that. I don't like it. Are we level five next session? I'm not sure we actually get to play at level five. Oh, you right. can just get it's to level, level four finish. or level five right. by the end of it. Right. And, uh, okay. yeah, I don't know. Is it next session that we're ending, or is there one more? Uh, you tell us! <laughs> so I'll I think play another we're session. wrapping on the 17th. I'll so, play one more. Or the Which... week of the 17th. So, so, the week, so there's the... one more we after We might that. have one more. Okay, we, have oh, we might yeah. have one more yeah. after that. So we might have two on more sessions. actually get through, I would guess. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Let I me mean, look at my calendar. I've been wrong on this stuff before. I get vaporizing a bugbear? Yeah, the 22nd. It's going to be more than normal. Yeah, so the twenty yeah. second will actually be our last stream. Okay, that's good. Oh, I'm glad. I really thought that uh, today or next week would be the last. Almost. Uh, so I will I say like I to be careful today. during the next couple of weeks. We are going to diverge on you know significantly on our storylines for the last couple of weeks. Um, uh -huh. So if you're watching out there, and you don't want spoilers, don't watch the other streams once they go into the vault. Yep. Because it's all the same. Okay. Like we've we've been diverged, we're converging back again. Yes, mm -hmm. we're converging back again, and there's going to be big finale coming in the week of the seventeenth that we want to make sure, you know, you get the maximum effort. And you players especially, please do not watch the finales of the other episodes. I, I, I won't. I don't series. want it to end until it's I, over, I, and then we're gonna all have a frenzy and watch each other's entire series. Yeah, I'm gonna let I'm, you do uh, that. I'm gonna binge. Honestly, it. multiple episodes behind everybody right now. So I have I mean, not watched a single episode of any of that the book. Other... You a hear couple. a whisper in your ear saying, "We have to talk." <laughs> no, no. More specifically, we need to have a talk. Ooh. Yes. Oh, that's so much worse. worse. That's so much worse. <laughs> Oh. This could go really bad because if Lucia doesn't like it, she could just terrify Book. No, <laughs> maybe. Lucia, don't Lucia look like that. Don't make that Book. <laughs> well, <laughs> there, is, there is actually something going to be occupying the morning for uh, Lucien. So mm -hmm. uh, I didn't want to dig into it. it too much, but I a certain up, individual does show up looking for you. Uh -huh. Is it my best boy? <laughs> Emmett. Your best boy. I'm coming Emmett for you. Froon? No. I I steal that no. Uh, no? necklace of fireballs. Just one stuff. hint of foreshadowing. Oh, uh, oh, 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 I know who it is. It's the Lord's Alliance guy. Laryl right? Silverhand? Is it? No, <laughs> it's stop doing it. this. I mean, the Renair did on. put in a word for you that he would be coming by. I mean, and you are trying to go into business, ideally, right? But... Oh, jeez. <laughs> so he might like... drop by. You have been doing some rather heroic things and keeping just your, this keeping heroic your nose words really clean. Really the other way, like words of valor or something. Okay, okay. I, can Corey, I know it's an easy thing to mess up, but it's not heroic. It's horrific. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, heroic that may not be the correct adjective here. <laughs> <laughs> Is that heroic? We shall see why the Lord's Alliance should be taking interest in uh, Lucia next week, for good or ill. Yes. It's the good. Of course it is. For, for, oh, I, can't I saved the princess. Actually, but... Just going to be arresting all of us. It just <laughs> depends on who all else is present in the conversation, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, I want to see it, mostly for entertainment value. You can watch from the balcony. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's hanging only... down from the balcony upside down looking in the window. Yeah. <laughs> I have a feeling. Have... I have a feeling that book is going to be listening to the thoughts of someone during this conversation. Just saying. <laughs> <It's>... Maybe. 
Be ready sorry, for this. Sorry, no, Lucienne has no idea you can do that. So. Also, if Lucienne starts to plan to frighten you, I imagine she'll be thinking about it. <laughs> I'm gonna scare you. Oh, no, this is, this do is it, terrifying. This is crazy. Oh yeah. my gosh. Uh, I, I can't coming, wait for next week, around. you guys. Thank Maybe you for the... a great session, and we will wrap <laughs> it up here, but see you next week. Stay cool. Um, cool. Thanks, everybody. Have a nice Bye. Tuesday. Bye. I'm waving, but you can't see it. <laughs> <laughs>